Technology is terrible, and we should really just go live in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> With the techno tree, wait. What's what's what, what kind wait, of wait, 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 with techno tree? What? He's, it's just like a it's like a giant California redwood that just blasts rave music. No man, it was the only hippie transformer they had. They only made one. It was a prototype. It ate a small That's child. Techno hermit. <laughs> actually, actually, that was basically the Beast Machines cartoon. There was actually a techno tree. A what? Yeah, she was like a sexy techno tree. Huh. Yeah, children's cartoons, man. Not even once, man. Not even once. How's everybody doing? Um, hopefully, hopefully, maybe in the next week or two, people will be allowed outside of their homes. Hopefully. Maybe. But, you know, things will definitely change. I, somebody brought up a good point. They're like, uh, do you think like sporting events are ever going to happen again? You're going to get 60,000 people in a stadium at one time? Any time? Uh, considering the amount of money that moves, oh hell yeah! <laughs> Unless it's free, I don't know. You got to think like right now is probably you, you could probably take a bus across America for like genuinely like a buck fifty. Oh yeah, <laughs> like it, that was the best time to travel. You shouldn't fucking travel. Stay in your houses, people. Um... A couple of my <laughs> friends have been buying. Kind of like Yolo buys, because airfares are stupid cheap, but you can buy out a couple of months out, still it's stupid cheap. And they're gambling on, like, maybe nothing crumbles completely and we'll be able to take some wicked cheap vacations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to go to Japan for $200. Right, round trip, first class. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, Jesus shit, with the amount of, like, inflated fees airlines have, like, yeah. I don't feel bad for them. Nope. Yeah, Ryanair, uh, they have reasonable pricing, but like a round trip for me and Nori from here to Portugal is like 120 pounds ish. So it's still significant. <laughs> Why would you want to go back? I don't. Someone else does. <laughs> you could you could you could go to like the Netherlands or like Prague or something. Listen, man, it's Pedro. Pedro doesn't care where he's at, but once he's there, he's like, I'm good. Yeah. Except when I <laughs> except except when I need to go back to Portugal. There are, you know, loving, loving influences. <laughs> It's self-preservation mechanism. I mean, you... <laughs> it's something everyone picks up. I just hate being in airplanes. Uh, I'm passed out on airplanes, so it doesn't bother me. Yeah. See. No, yeah. What 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 I found out is uh, now you can order edibles on the OCS. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat this chocolate bar and pass out. <laughs> the, the 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 problem is, especially with traveling to the states, I'm gonna travel between these two places where this substance is legal, but I can't take it in the air. Yeah. <laughs> that I can walk. I can walk outside, pull out a doobie, produced from the ether. And it, no, no problem on either side as long as you, you know, you're not smoking indoors, right? That's that's what people care about. That'll kill somebody, man. Come on. Oh Ether man, doobies, <laughs> super doobies, man. It's like Scooby snacks, but <laughs> yeah. See, that would that would be like a great mutant power, just to like be like, um, uh, what, what, what's his name, Afro Samurai, and just like produce we produce joints from just random places. Like Mad Sweeney, but with like weed. Happy Easter, Foxy. <laughs> Lag. Are you gonna have sex with a rabbit, as is tradition? Fertility festivals, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Praise be to Astara. <laughs> yeah. That's so bad. I oh, man, oh man, I I I found uh, I found um. A Twitter account called No Context Chick Tracts. I posted it in uh, Discord earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, but like, 
for those of you who don't know, Jack Chick wrote some insane Christian propaganda back in the 70s and 80s. And in the form of like little comic strips. And like some of them are just ridiculous. <laughs> that was the one where like the lady starts playing Dungeons and Dragons and now because her character died, she has to die. Mm. But for but not for the power of Jesus, she is saved. Because only Jesus can roll a natural 20 against your soul. That's set. That's three shot. Man, stripper poles are expensive, right? Are they? Yeah. Well, I guess like... Like that. How expensive are we talking? Like for like a legit one, couple hundred bucks. Okay, I like yeah. If you wanted like anchored like a workout so that I could... one, yeah, that they're sold yeah. as like yes. yeah, exercises. <laughs> like uh, yeah, that's a that's a word you could use for what you're selling there. But okay, Dude, human. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't care who the fuck you are. Human flags are hard. Mm. <laughs> like you can you can get in really good shape doing pole dancing. You thought they'd be a little cheaper though, Mike. Right. Buy I one think, like slightly I, used on eBay. Maybe. <laughs> I think uh, it depends think, on how many SCDs you want with it. <laughs> I don't know if they're if it's if it's a good brass one, then it's sterile, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, that, no, that's, I mean that, that is brass. Yeah. Yeah, that's how that's how brass works. Antibacterial by itself. <laughs> yep. Um. No, but like all the all the home workout stuff on like Amazon or eBay is like jacked up in price because like people can't go to the gym anymore. Mm. Yeah, just, just I don't know. I mean, I, I gotta say, humanity as a whole, society is cooped. They, they take instructions better than I thought. I did see my first like um, toiletries wipe. No, oh, you just go in and there's just like no TV at, at Publix, man. It was just like gone. And it's like everything else is perfectly fine. Not even a little bit out. It's just like just pff, like, huh? First thought. So like every time I've been to a Publix, it's been in like Fort Lauderdale Florida, or Miami. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I my my expectations with Publix is kind of already calibrated low. No, they have um. The one we have here in Athens is everything between Athens is gentrified hipster bullshit, but that, right. it, yeah, it's it's nice. Oh, you got one. You got one of the good Publixes. Yes, uh, like the <laughs> places you would normally expect, like or, like weird, Ben. Like the dollar stores are like all bricked out and stuff, and they have like produce and shit. And I'm like, okay, well, fine, <laughs> fine, be like that. <laughs> yeah. Kroger's got tap beer where you can fill up your growler. <laughs> like, fine. <laughs> it's a college town, man. Yeah, Foxy, you 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 want you want to know how hard pole dancing is? You try doing it, and then come I back would, and tell I'm, me. All right, I think we'd all go in, Michael. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, I, I I do very poorly because I don't have the upper body strength necessary. <laughs> but like, yeah, dude. It's, it's it's all like isometric holds and shit. It's hard. It's like do it's like doing yoga, right? Like, oh, this isn't too bad. Yeah, hold this for about twenty minutes though, and by the end of it, you're like, fuck. What's wrong with you people? Yeah, you do this to yourself. Yeah, you should come to the class where we do it in a really hot room. Fuck no. You can catch a buzz. Like that's okay. I got drugs. Yeah. Yeah. No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we, let, uh, we do actually have a little bit of news for you this uh, afternoon. We, if everyone we, we, we have yeah. we have hate mail this week. A little bit surprising. <laughs> People are at home, yep. nothing to do, man. <laughs> Think about it. They just gotta scream into like, the void. Uh, yeah, when, when in doubt, scream into the void. Do you get like that, man? I, I was in um, the uh, door forum um, last night. And I, I was going to provide like screamy help, like. Would you just shut up and quit pretending you? It's like you know what? No, 
I am not going to. But I, I could feel that. It's like, I just need to like get that out of my system. Like, no, don't don't take it out on that person. Someone else will. That's the outdoor for it. Oh. What's that? It's a That's pope. The pope? <laughs> it's a pope on a rope. Um... I've ruled out getting a disco ball. Oh, I thought you said I, th I thought you were going for like I ruled out getting a giant inflatable pope. <laughs> just keep I ruled just out keeping a disco him in the pope. Back. Things I didn't <laughs> say. Thank you very much. Disco pope. No, ruled out. <laughs> I got an inflatable disco pope. Thank you very much. <laughs> See. And we're of course, just gonna shut up and not comment on thing. that because there's, there's no. <laughs> if if you get a Pope Muppet, is it a Popet? You know what? No, nope, no cancer on that one. That was just bad. Okay, gotcha. No, 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 no. This, I, I'm always led to believe that that that's been in the works since probably like Thursday. Probably. <laughs> that's what you think. It was Wednesday. <laughs> might have been. Might have been Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, everyone works uh, copes with working at home differently. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go back into the shame ball. <laughs> oh man, I pulled out the. I'll go back under my bridge now at work a couple of times. <laughs> I've just been getting, like, increasingly disheveled on, like, the video calls. Oh. <laughs> Pedro, yeah, I think no, you I, still I, got I, some, uh, buffer underruns or overruns, buddy. That's odd. Yay, I'm not the only one now. with problems today. <laughs> <laughs> now I can die in peace. Journal CTL B0. No. Nothing that's showing up on my end. I'll have a byte perfect copy. So I, I don't have any audio equipment between this computer. And yeah, there's nothing on this end to pop, is the problem. I have our problems, Foxy. <laughs> I have so many our problems. I mean, last time you mentioned that, I did look it up and I did see a couple of. Um, under well overruns actually um mm -hmm. but no nothing now is your wi-fi enabled uh no i disabled that as part is of your Bluetooth figuring enabled? out why that was happening and i figured out why it was happening it was because i had clam av installed and every couple of minutes it was like doing a check <laughs> clam yes. av and you give me shit for running a c linux Admittedly, I only installed it to check on a friend's um, external hard drive, and then I forgot to remove it afterwards. Well, I don't want to spoil it, but I'm pretty sure um, Clam AV probably wasn't the issue. Yeah, it was. <laughs> you can prove that how. The buffer uh, overruns stopped happening. <laughs> oh, we're still getting a little clicking. You told me to crank it up. I mean, I don't see the red light coming on. In it, it's the interface. never mind. Never mind, Pedro. I'll fix it in post, buddy. I don't feel like arguing tonight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the last thing I have on the logs is from six minutes ago. What's your supervising RTA? five threads of three processes of? What is your RTI or Q settings at? <laughs> Do you have USB prioritized? I'm running the defaults. <laughs> Do you even have RTI or Q installed? Does it come by default? <laughs> <laughs> the answer to that, kids, is no. 
Ah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. I mean, I could give it a reboot. Yeah. It's one of the benefits of multi track recording. I just gotta catch it once. Tomorrow morning. And take care of it. I'm not okay. necessarily worried about tonight. What I'm worried about is that showing up when you're trying to do a stream by yourself and as you're getting like some shit like that. Trying to look out for you, buddy. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> well, yeah, no, look, again, last time you mentioned it, I saw it, and um, that's not happening anymore, so. <laughs> People live with one monitor. That's some bullshit. It is some bullshit. Yes. It is some bullshit because what? The third time I tried to drag that to a non existent desktop, I was like, wait a minute. That's not going to work. That's why it keeps getting bigger. All right. Um, we'll let this run for a second. Let me get something to drink then. We will get onto it. Yes. What are you expecting in Austin tonight? Empty streets? Stone cold. Stone cold? All right. Egg size hail? Ah, uh, that one doesn't work. Because it could still be um, hail sized eggs and do the same thing. Yeah. Oh, like, it, it could be like caviar, right? Like little tiny eggs? Could it be frozen squid from space? Shut up, Ozymandias. Damn it. Yeah, no, I for one uh, very much appreciate not just working from home, but the social distancing bit. I get to steer away from people in Tesco's and no one gives me a weird look. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it was warm here today, which, you know, it's odd. <laughs> I hope this doesn't keep happening for too long because, yeah, last time, uh, well, last year, uh, we had summer a bit earlier here and then it rained a lot, so it'd be nice if summer could wait till, you know, summertime. <laughs> right, Pennywise? <laughs> It's like, you get to go out and indulge in all your introverts, like, don't touch me, uh, things, and everyone accepts that because it's normal. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and the answer, Scott, is yes. <laughs> uh. World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, seriously, I just... Partly, um, I blame Strider because he got the um, Need for Speed World fan resurrection thingy uh, up and running on um, 
Lutris, and I've been running that. I've been running that the whole time, and I've been playing a lot. In fact, let me check Lutris. Let's see. Lutris. What are you doing using Lutris? Man? 61 Only hours! hours. <laughs> I have I thought... played Soapbox Brace World, aka Need for Speed World, for 61 hours and 58 minutes, according to Lutris. <laughs> I thought I thought Lunix was the illegal ha hacker operating system. Which one was Lunix? Ah, yes, Linux Toro Voltus. Lumix. Lumix. Lumix is actually something, though. I think. Oh man, when when you're talking about like Linux distributions, you can just make one up. There's a good chance. Oh, uh, okay. L Lumix <laughs> is a Panasonic camera. All right. Uh. That that that's where I know that from. Hey, we did uh, troubleshoot. Um, return to Castle of Wolfenstein, uh, Coop. Did, did you ultimately return to Castle of Wolfenstein? Um, you know what? We figured out that, hey, Direct Connect, that works, because that server mechanism yes. is busted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it kind of works sometimes, kind of doesn't, but mm -hmm. I, I think what I've came up with is that was just, you know, the first, like, two levels, we just Power Man 5000 our way through it, mm -hmm. and we had it. We had it on hard, and we had friendly fire on, which that worked Made it about extra as well. hard. Well, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, taking fire from all sides. But I think we're gonna be um, we're gonna come back to it Friday. We're, we're gonna keep friendly fire on. <laughs> we're gonna keep it on hard, but there's a mechanic to limit the amount of respawns, how many lives you have, you get mm. for each level. It's like so it's we're like going to be restarting that level a lot. <laughs> You know what? Depending on how many people we have, if we're clever about it, and, you know, if, like out of the gate, we just gun down everyone else. <laughs> now, does, does, does we only get the one life? <laughs> now, here, here, here's the question, though. Like, how does how does the difficulty scaling work? Is it like... Oh. Does, does, does it keep it, it like, consistent? more so, enemies. More enemies right, and right, they're right, made right, of sponge. Right, right. Right. Yeah. So, like, if, if if you go in with eight people and then you just murder all but two, is the difficulty still scaled for eight people? I don't mm -hmm. know. I'm, I'm more impressed by the like, tensile strength <laughs> of the string on your right sleeve. It, it just comes straight up. Uh, oh. Yeah. Raise your right uh, arm. I thought. I th yeah. Makes, you makes your arm jet up randomly. No, the string that you have, like, poking straight up. Hmm. When you raise your room. All right. What? No, it's not you, Pedro. Everyone, keep an eye out for it. Yeah. Other arm. <laughs> there it is. Oh, so I do. <laughs> not anymore. LGC cares. <laughs> People, let's. Do a Man, I, show. I should have kept that in that would piss someone off. Oh, it would have. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. <laughs> I didn't say tear it out. <laughs> I one. thought you were I thought you were referring to like some like graphical glitch in the game. Or like, yeah, there's a string on your arm, and if you pull it up, you go. No. no. <laughs> Let's see. Alright. Damn it, I'm trying to think where you could put the string that would fuck with someone right now. I, <laughs> I, I can just, like, hang it right here. Yeah. Uh, hmm. All right. Put it up my nose and sneeze it out at some point. Let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We're going to do this. Um, I am flying on a pre... Like, a very, very beta copy of Adore this evening with some new hardware. So... I'm telling Leave you some buffer room to catch fire. As I'm telling Jordan and Pedro, if like poof disappear, things go silent. That's what it is. So, you know, no need to pre-panic. I'm just kidding. Always pre-panic. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you triggered it. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get rid of Panicking that. Panicking is highly encouraged. <laughs> All right. Probably have to gonna build our own Jitsi box. Let me nuke this automation. 
planes. Okay, we are armed. Bounce. Stop. Good. F1. That is recording. That is recording. Okay. Blam. This thing has so much damn play in it. Anyway. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. We're back. We're in one place. We're not going stir crazy. Not completely stir crazy. Maybe not just yet. Anyway, I'm Vince Stone. That's Jordan Swing. That's Pedro Mateus. And you at home, Shotroom Dynamic, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. But back to it, man. Um, what's the weirdest thing that you've done stuck at home this week, uh, Pedro? Well, let's see. Um, I was crawling under my desk trying to figure out exactly why my UHD monitor went dead. Mm. Turns out um, DisplayPort 2 <laughs> on the GTX 1080 uh, decided, you know what? Uh, screw you and the high horse you rode in on. Uh, I'm just going to die now. And die it did. <laughs> We were talking earlier, um, about, I, I've never had one, but Jordan, you've known a person. I mean, I've worked IT, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> you, you get like dead display ports or like dead um, dead HDMI ports. And I've, I have a friend who like had one die on them. It's, it's just, a, it's a thing that happens occasionally mm -hmm. and you can't predict it. And you're like, well, what the fuck, right? Like, yep. What, <laughs> what, what, what sucks is if like, that was like the only one of those ports you had on your video card, and now you have right. to go buy another cable. One of the things I like... brought up to Pedro was like, it's a good thing we live in this future. We're like, I'll oh, just use one of the other ports on the card, right? Yeah, it has three, so I can <laughs> I can swap it around. <laughs> oh, oh man, could you imagine this was back in the day when like your only other output was like an S video out? <laughs> I have those cards, man. I have those. Right. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. Do you remember like the moon future? I remember the first time I got like a dual DVI card. I was like, whoa. Ooh, but but it, two it monitors. Was a, no, th that was the thing, though. It was a ridiculous luxury because I couldn't afford two flat panel screens. I could barely afford this one. And yeah, weird, weird times. Have you done anything weird being stuck in your um, captivity? No, I'm like maybe three quarters of the way to go in like full Jack Torrance. Oh, okay. Just type in front of a typewriter all work and no play makes homer <laughs> something something uh but yeah no i I've, I've i've been dabbling with the joys of dog ownership i stepped in I, I i got up to i got up to go to the bathroom this morning i missed it on the way out uh -huh. but on the way back to the bed dog poop right on the floor shoes no like, shoes i mean no shoes oh toes yeah, so that, so then that's that's hopping on one foot back to the bathroom and spending 20 minutes cleaning off mush dog shit off my foot. Think about it this way. At least you didn't wake up after a 15-minute nap going, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what's that smell on my chest? Oh, even worse, man. Uh, over here, uh, I, we, I got a thing. But this thing, it allows me Spins? to... Eh, not really. It was really cheap, but I'll be talking about it more later. It's just a additional control surface. So, because I'm trying to do this, it keeps me from having to stop doing another thing over here. So I can just reach over and touch and do that. But it is making me run a newer version of a door that is completely not ready for production. Hi, from production. We're using it right now. <laughs> so. That's the best place to test your code, right? There's that. Also, that's where I, all the bugs are. I had. I had my old man moment. I have already told both of you about this. Just like wake on land. It's been a thing. I haven't had any reason to have wake on land in my life, even in my house or anything. I haven't even thought about it in like a decade until I was like, wait a minute. I got to get this with like Jackbox, which is way over there now. And it's around and I'm walking all the way around this desk and all the way back. That gets tired around the 16th reboot you're doing in 30 minutes. So set it up. I was surprised. Good on you, MSI, this cheap B350 motherboard. Oh, it's got that supported. Boom, put it in there. Doop, doop. Okay, can I send you a magic packet? Oh, I can do it from desktop terminal, not a problem. It's like, had never thought of this, but I was like, I bet you could do this through an Android. I went to the Android store, naive. Like, I wonder if someone else has thought of, oh, yeah, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> There's the 900 of them. And I was like, what color do you want it? It's like, geez, all right, fine. And, um, 
didn't even have the fun one. It's like drag down to discover your network because you know, I'm already getting ready to punch in the MAC address if this was going to work, this crazy moon technology, and just found it. And I hit it and it cut on. And I was like, yay. So, yeah. Yay, ARP. Yeah, that <laughs> happened. But uh, you just can't automatically cut on the horse with a touch of a button. I mean, scientists have dreamed of one day doing so. Ooh, but advanced that, that, technology. But that is that is in the far distant future. That's advanced technology. It's the Stime! Linux! Updates! Oh, uh, of the, the like! Like? Of the like! Alright, check it out. Technology. Yeah, uh, so Valve uh, put together a little, uh, little news post. Um, Trying desperately to keep developers on Steam <laughs> and not going to other stores. It's like, hey guys, successful games are actually making more money in 2019 than in 2018 because of the changes we implemented. Um, they give you a lot of data, and I, tr I tried going through it, but my eyes kind of rolled over in the back of my head. But they, they're, they're nice enough to give you a TLDR. Um, successful games are earning more money, but unsuccessful games are earning less money. And that's yep. that's sort of the rub. That is kind of it, man. One of the things that struck me is like 80% of the Steam games have earned under $5,000 in their first two weeks. But doesn't that kind of roll back to just the idea of, okay, if, I, if I'd if i spent like the last two years of my life and I was like mortgaged to the hilt with loans and that's all I got versus like, hey, it's something has made my spare time. Oh, look, five grand. Neat. Yeah. There's two different ways of <laughs> that, looking at that. Yeah. I I mean, dis discoverability has been one of those things that Valve has been like fighting to figure out some kind of solution for because they they me they mention it in the in the news post like we made a decision to make the Steam store public. There's no curation, blah blah blah, because we want to hand it off to curators and influencers and so on and so forth. But the the problem there is like, well, how do you how do you get your game in front of people? Um, and with with the with the with the sheer volume of games being put on Steam, how how do you do that? So Valve doesn't have a solution, but what they can tell you is <laughs> if you if your game does succeed on Steam, you will make slightly more money. That's that's it. Yeah, that's definitely true, man. Uh, it's just what was the uh, what was it Steam Spy that had the uh, all the pricing data and all that other fun stuff? Yeah, that yeah. yeah. The that that epic pulled and they're like hey remember that website yeah we've been funding that secretly for like two years so oh, yeah that's the and uh com as a companion to this article look up the um ars technica article where they basically from the data that valve uh shared with this article they sort of extrapolate a couple of other things it's very interesting Mm. Very Extrapo interesting indeed. Extrapolation, you say? Well, it's better than yes. the extrapolation. <laughs> we don't do that anymore. Not on this show. Not 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 this close to lag day. I think I think we're worse off for it, though. Amen. Yes. Artifacts. But back hey, Oregon. maybe you'd like to go back to artifacts. Yep. I don't know why you would, but apparently a lot of people did. Like two, uh, five hundred and twenty-five of them on average uh, over the past month. I don't know. Which uh, is wait, a hang on, hang on. What's that? Oh, wow. Okay. I wouldn't brag about that. Uh, just looking at this is uh, from PC Games and mm -hmm. all this in our show notes. Artifacts saw a peak of 535 concurrent players. Man, uh, yep. I'd brag about that <laughs> if it was like tomato I clicker don't... or horse clicker. Yeah, if made. it was like yeah. a teeny tiny little I, indie game, yeah. not a Valve game. <laughs> well, that's the thing. This this isn't Valve bragging about it. This is PC Games and covering it because they've been watching Steam charts. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but but yeah, like I don't, I don't I don't know. Valve did say we we covered it last week. They're trickling out the changes, so maybe some people are getting them already. And like that's the I don't thing. know, they're not trickling them out yet. They're still working on the boring stuff. That's what they said. And I, well, yeah, and I mean, who who knows? Like, maybe, maybe there are people who actually really like the game, but were turned off by having to pay money for cards. I, I honestly, I think, like, we're, we're going to get our answer once the free version comes out to see how well it actually does. I don't, I don't think it's going to do particularly well because that ship has sailed already, but. When you say that, Jordan, um, do, you, do you think I'm right in saying, like, the whole card game genre is done, it's baked, it's sailed as a whole? Like, there's not really any. It's it's the equivalent of coming out with a new MMO. I'm like, eh. Uh, so I I I would say like at least in at least in the physical space, like TGCs are dominated by Yu-Gi-Oh and like Magic: The Gathering, right? Um, yeah. 
on, on online, it's still Magic the Gathering because of MTG Arena. They're doing a good job with that. And MTG Hearth, Arena and, and Hearthstone. Hearth, and Hearthstone, yeah. <laughs> so it, it, it's one of those things where, like, Microsoft comes in. I have a mobile OS too, you guys. Like, the the, ma the major players have established themselves, and you got to do something really, really crazy to get people's attention at this point. Kudos. Uh, yeah. it, 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 it's like it's like uh, MMOs and WoW, right? If you're inevitably going to be compared to that. Oh, and you said like Windows. I, I just want to give a side check, a little bit of shout out because I watched like the um, development log on OBS. That dude maintaining RT. He's still up to it, man. Windows RT. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess if you got like an RT tablet and you want to use it as like a slider or something, I, maybe? I, I, I want one now because those things existed for what, 30, 35 seconds? They're like, mm -hmm. you can buy the Surface RTs for reasonably cheap on eBay, actually. I, 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 yeah, I, I guess like the supply level, Microsoft expected to, to <laughs> ship more units, so it's not like a super rare piece of kit. There's just a bunch of new in-box ones. Just well, it's like my <laughs> Black, yeah, I have the BlackBerry tablet that runs like Q&X, and X. I'm like, ah, that's neat, and I... <laughs> Team Black Music, oops, or bad, whatever. Oh, speaking of hardware, man, check this out. A new patent <gasps> has been published from Valve of Steam Controller with swappable components. That's right, it's got interchangeable bits that you can lose, just like that new Xbox controller that's like $200. What we're looking at is effectively what you would imagine with a Steam Controller. It's got two areolas on it. It's got, the, and I like looked at the Peyton, it's like, are the buttons bigger? No, they look roughly the same as the ones I have right now. And you still have your D-pad, but the D-pad has, there's an image below that for your standard, you know, four-way D-pad or, you know, just your analog bit. And that, that's really it. Am I missing anything? Well, uh, what, 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 what I, what I find interesting was this was what the, the, the Smock kind of pitched originally was like mm -hmm. the the swappable face buttons, which I thought, which I actually thought was a good idea, because like if you're gonna if you're gonna have a controller that's supposed to be an open platform, it would be nice to be able to like but make the, it work like the controller you want. But the Smashy did it with the Areola controllers. Yeah, I guess this is yes. This this is just a patent for uh, for the for the analog stick D pad, but there could be more incoming. I don't I don't know. Like the, the, it, it seems like if you're gonna introduce one modular part for your controller. That seems oddly specific. But, yeah. Well, introduce all the modulars, please. <laughs> well, hang on. I, I mean, if you have your Steam controller, it, think about like that as your standard cross yeah. pad. That that would be that big. It'd be like only six inches. Yeah, they could make it so it overlaps the uh, little plastic thingy. Yes. Steam, so you, yes, it. Pedro. They could make it look dumber. Um. Yes. <laughs> Seriously, uh, you're talking about a controller with two areolas on it. Even you're <laughs> talking about it being dumber. <laughs> you, no, no, no. You leave my TV remote out of this. <laughs> now, I, 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 I got, I got to be the fun police about this. But of course, it's just a patent. They may just be putting this down so that, like, yeah, we have the rights to this. Go fuck yourself. Also, I mean, how do you, how do you even get a patent on? Um, I don't know. Good well, you, you you could get a patent on rounded edges. Apple oh, did yeah. it, so there is this. So, yeah. This is true. The slide but, to unlock. <laughs> yeah. Memory fix. Yeah. Um. For the two of you who bought <laughs> Alex and are playing it via Proton on your index, lo and behold, Valve's Valve still got your back, man. They do, man. Uh, yeah. There, appar apparently, a couple people are trying. Uh, apparently, one of the two people has a GTX 970. <laughs> they were running out of memory. <laughs> So, uh, so now, now, uh, Alex is a little better about memory management on Proton and you know what? I bet you that probably trickles over to windows too. And you know what? Lowering memory profile requirements. It's just a good optimization for most games, period. So mm -hmm. yeah, I kind of want to take the Pepsi challenge on this because as much, I don't even like, I, I've already said it. So I've already whispered it into being. What if they just stick, they're working on this because they're, yeah, it's going to have a Letix version, but it's also going to be Proton. Maybe. I don't know. You know? Official um, Proton, yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> we're, we're refining the pipeline because we want to onboard more VR games May and Linux, and this is a good way for us to learn how to do that and make the tools. Well, that that's that's what I was gonna say. Like, may, maybe this isn't so much for Alex specifically. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is just like VR support in general. Because, like, like you said, we we want to be able to onboard more people. That means making sure that Proton can run these VR games as good as it possibly can. Right. Hmm. Still, Could be. Uh, I don't know. 
How much do like the original vibes go for though? Are they still ridiculously cheap? They didn't make enough to where they were just like. I yeah, I could I couldn't tell you. I haven't looked up the price of one of those <laughs> since it came out. I I want to play Alex, man, but I want to play Alex when I find like a, a vibe, a full kit of vibe for like ten bucks. And it's first no, what, what we got to do is we got to like set up a corner of your house mm -hmm. to, and like get some yellow tape to make it look like the hollow deck and just have you like walk into a wall at some point. <laughs> Dude, I have I, I have a dining room with nothing in it. So <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna set up the hollow shed. You should do it. If we can make it happen, man. Uh, yes. Never winter nights. That's something Pedro likes. It is. Uh, and build eighty one ninety three ten is now uh, available if you're tracking the development branch. I am. Uh, and um, it's always fun to see like the new stuff that uh, Beam Dog has managed to find in the old engine, and that they can improve now. Uh, this one, it fixes uh, a bunch of, um, like, the post-processing effects that they introduced with the uh, Enhanced Edition, like a super-sampled uh, ambient occlusion. That's uh, the accuracy and the performance on that have been improved. Uh, dynamic contrast, same old, same old. Depth of field, they've um, also changed uh, the configuration that you can set in the config files to be a bit more granular. Uh, the visual effects uh, that you can place with the tool set, uh, those, uh, once you render out, once you build the module and you are playing it in-game, those effects are now subject to the same level of uh, post-processing that you have enabled for everything else. And the one that jumped out at me was actually double-kicking a player. If you, like, booted a player and then you boot it again before the, like, little instance timed out, the server... It doesn't anymore, so they fixed that. What? What just what? happened? We had a little glitch. Yeah. Okay. That I thought that was on my end. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Pe Pedro, are you still jacked into the Matrix? <laughs> are you getting turned into an Agent Smith? No. <laughs> are you sure? Are ah. you sure, Mr. Anderson? <laughs> oh man. Uh, the, the 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 other thing that did come with this update is they added a bunch of the scripts for the uh, premium modules. So if you want to use those as a base for your own mod. Now you can. That's neat. Uh, I, I really wish. I, do you ever find any games like that? You look at it. You can look at it from the outside. And like, oh, I get it. That looks. It's just not for me, though, man. I just. I, I can't extract any joy from it. That's me with most racing games. Oh, speaking of racing games, good news, everyone. <laughs> yeah, grip. Wait, are we talking about grip or grid? Gr no, this is this, this grid. is grid. Ah, okay, man. Where am I in the Gurp, show? Gurp. No, Gurp. I, 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 I don't know. I think you wrote that. I, I don't. I don't know. Sometimes we just mess with each other in like the the article headings, and I don't even know anymore. Okay. I on. always saw that story. It said grip, but it was about grid. Grid twenty nineteen. Uh, this is you know you love them code weavers, right, man? And uh, code we masters, but yeah, close enough. Code masters, code weavers. Same. It starts with a cup. <laughs> it, 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 it's a wine port. It's code weavers. No. Clearly, man, but. Uh, we have Linux and Mac depots that have shown up. Now, I was looking at the game itself, and I noticed, I was like, hey, hey, wait a minute. Um, didn't this one use the DX12s? And, uh, oh, you that do. was for... It nope. does. <laughs> so do you think that, oh, that's going to be kind of interesting? Uh, we have no idea who could possibly be bringing this title to Linux. None. Is it Aspire? I... Would be, that would involve yeah. them re releasing a Linux port uh, of another game. Fair Is point. it virtual uh, programming? <laughs> <laughs> that would involve them releasing any Linux ports at all. Do, do you know what? Is, I, is, is, it, <laughs> is, is it CD Projekt Red? They're great at making Linux games. If it's virtual programming, <laughs> I'll buy you a copy. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> uh, sure, why not? What do we think about this picture? This one's uh, more in the lines of arcade racing. A little, little more, like, less of a simulation, but I mean, it's... Uh, it's about as arcade mm. racy as Grand Auto Squirt uh, mm. that we actually looked at a while back uh, was. Honestly, I would have preferred Dirt Rally 2. This, I I don't know. I, I, I'm a huge fan of the genre of racing. And I'm I am. glad that we have a strange abundance of it on Steam, from modern games, but all from the company that I'm just not a fan of the racing games. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, 
Grid, uh, Grid Auto Squirt wasn't terrible, but it, yeah, no, I much prefer Dirt Rally. Uh, we can we, we even get you on like a Gran Turismo on like an RPCS3 or something, see how you like that. Yeah, I, I, I tried uh, Gran Turismo on the PS2. I played it on the PS1. It, that was, mm. yeah. It, I, I, I like mm. just psychotically arcade, re- like uh, the distance. Mm. Yes. Just give Distance, me wings uh, and, grip. Yeah. <laughs> grip is Before fun. Speed World. Uh, <laughs> I mean, something that's fun. It's something that uh, you don't really necessarily take seriously, but give me something vaguely resembling Newtonian based physics, you know. Mm-hmm. And I, I th- vaguely th- being the operative word yeah. there. <laughs> I, th- I think they've kind of been doing that with Gran Turismo, but again, as someone who does not grok racing games, shrug emoji, right? Like. So, um, the juggernauts, ring, ring. The, the gaming masterminds that brought us overgrowth too, eventually. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it was, I think it was just overgrowth. L- overgrowth yeah. Lugaru and Lugaru too. And then overgrowth. Yes. Yeah. Is, the, we're the, we're the, not going to get a sequel to the Titan of a game. Maybe. Bunny we, rabbit, have, boop, boop, combat. It, and I was like, oh God, this is bad. Um, <laughs> in 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 the, in the next ten years, maybe. The, hey, this one has an actual release date, though. So it does. We've talked about this earlier in the show. You play the uh, disembodied uh, floating gun, and you're, yeah. I'm just making that. Up. I, it's my but, favorite character. <laughs> receiver it simulates every internal part of each firearm based on manufacturer schematics, gunsmithing resources. Yeah, you, okay, you play a floating gun, um, including how mm-hmm. to load, and you do. A, you walk around town. You do. You know normal things that floating guns do, and dun, um, dun, dun. start a floating gun family. I don't. Dun, 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 dun. It's got a release date. That's the point. April fourteenth. It it does. And it, uh, it, this is from Wolffire. So yeah, they're the ones behind the Guru and uh, Overgrowth. We're getting a Linux yeah. version. Uh yay! So yeah, the, they also the, had I mean, a Linux version of the first one. Which, uh, well, as Jordan it was, it will was, mention later on, it's a game jam game. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, so here, here's here's the thing though. Like, there's there's a reason abstraction exists in games, <laughs> and I'm curious if like if it's like realistic gun handling, if it actually makes it not fun because the actual like abstracted gunfighting that we're used to from like quakes and dooms and stuff like okay, that okay. is actually watch, like what is watch, required watch to make a fun with game. me one more time let, let, let's take a look at the glass physics here that are coming up and yeah you know what <laughs> I, I don't think we got a lot to worry about when it comes to like overloading us with realism on this no and my, actually my biggest problem with the first one that was basically just the build that they had for the game jam that they put out was uh yeah you can hit f1 to look at the controls it's like can i change them because you have like uh eight different keys that i need to press around wasd that i'd like to rebind to other keys so i can use the directional arrows and the game just went ah, <laughs> fuck you uh <laughs> so yeah can can i rebind keys now did you look at the game you're like you're not my mom <laughs> it's like okay that looks really interesting it's like active uh, accurately attempting to simulate the physics of the gun and everything just that not, that entails just like j- okay, just not the cool. glass no no oh, dude uh, that glass is next <laughs> it's about level. the guns not the glass uh, our, sim- <laughs> our, our simple brains just can't comprehend it's a it's a glitch in the on. matrix right. drag does look very very interesting though it does, and uh, I'm glad that they were putting it out on early access because besides interesting, it looks a bit slow. Um, I saw when they first put out uh, the announcement on Twitter that it was also coming to Linux, uh, I was at work, and I showed it to co-worker Dave, this uh, trailer video uh, that if you're watching the video version you're looking at right now, it's like, that looks a bit slow. Is it, Did they put the game in like slow motion, or is that... No, that 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 that's the speed that it seems to be going at all through the trailer. It's like eh, that's a bit slow. So yeah, it is coming to early access at some point in 2020, and I'm glad for that because I really do hope that they improve that uh, sense of speed. But it does look really neat, actually. The you know, 
lacking sense of speed aside, it does look really, really neat. And as a fan of the racing genre, I very much I, I am looking forward what, to... What, what Pedro's trying to convey here, the um, rotation of the tires are out of sync with what's going on with the movement of the movement. Yes. <laughs> it's like, it looks like the tires are spinning really fast, but the cars are going really slow. If one could imagine if you had all-wheel drive and... Eight percent friction. You're doing it on ice. <laughs> yeah, that's, you that's were running you... like mm -hmm. hard plastic slicks. What do we need to <laughs> run this? Um, I it three seems, four seems gigs reasonable. of RAM, a four sixty ten gigs. Yeah, yeah. And online multiplayer combat racing PvP. That got my attention. The, um, the 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 PvP part's interesting because apparently what the 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 mechanic in this game is if you blow yourself up, then you're mm -hmm. out of the match. Period. So I think maybe that has to do with the speed as well to like make it make you do the mental calculus like is it worth it to ram this fucker or do i want to actually stay in the race and win i i, I think they just don't have the um timing down mm. on that yeah no th and I'm, again i'm totally glad that they're putting this out in early access first because i hope that that's fixed by the time the game proper comes out mm -hmm. unless they pull a distance and it takes six or seven years for it to come out <laughs> It'd be worth waiting on, man. You're what's wrong with yeah, Linux gaming. <laughs> <laughs> Linux versions, though, we have a um, yeah, new, the, the, new the, entry. This one is actually using one of the new Steam Labs things. So I'm like, wait, why am I not taking to the store page? Oh, because this is the news hub. Interesting. All right, but uh, Shortest Stripped Earth, uh, they have a new release out, and it has a Linux version. So you can play it. And... It's like real-time, super customizable FTL. So you got my attention. Um, although I went, I went in the review section. A number of the reviews are complaining that the game doesn't really good, do a good job of like explaining its customization mechanics or implementing some of the subsystems. Steam, but at the same Steam, Valve, no one ever wants to watch the four people who fucking stream on your service. Stop. But it's Steam streaming's a real thing, you guys. Uh, I mean, so I mean, unless this, it's this Skyrim porn, there's a lot of people watching that. Okay, you know what? I'm, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I got derailed there. Um, no, but like, so I don't know. This, this game looks interesting. I'd be, I'd be willing to like give it a look on a Thursday, cause like it, it look, it actually looks pretty cool, and I like, I like ship commander games. Okay, that's so. supposed to be a cat. This first picture is like, oh no, Pikachu <laughs> took the wrong stuff. Uh, uh, cat that, bunny thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that 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 cat is looking to eat that penguin, and I want to see what happens. All right. I'm down. Uh, All right. Uh, what do we need to run this? Uh, just Linux OS. No, so. Nothing. Yeah. I mean, it, yes. it, 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 it's it's a 2D game, right? It'll it'll run on your toaster. Pretty cool, man. All right. That's yeah. going to do for our uh, steamy bits. Indeed. Coming up next. If you can't sell it, give it away for free. Yeah. That's Google's motto. Is it ours too? Probably. Zoom, zoom. Uh, Google banned Zoom too. Google banned Zoom? Uh, yeah, Zoom meetings. What do you? Yeah, rightly so. <laughs> That's exactly what I just said. They not yeah, Jordan. There's nothing to it. They're like like, the, like in, in, yeah, they're Zoom like no one use Zoom anymore. Mm. All right. That sucks for a lot of the podcasts I listen to that use Zoom as their calling solution. Guess they got to learn how to set up a Jitsi. This thing has lost its damn mind. This is lovely. I'm scared to touch it. Um, is that is that what caused Pedro's audio to freak out? A little bit. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, okay. So it wasn't on my end. I was about to. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the, the DSP load is genuinely like uh, 100. percent So, um, about hmm. gamecast.com you guys are welcome to try that. Uh, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take a door down so things are going to get quiet for a minute. All right. Vote some show titles. Yeah. Vote down like Steamcast. While it's quiet, I'm going to pee. All right. Um, so we can't hear Pedro's thunderous urination.
Hey, beautiful people. I'm back. I think. Let me know if you can hear me. I know you can hear me. Um, we can get some background music going, possibly. Nope. Huh. Yeah, this thing's got some issues, baby. You're not going to be able to hear Jordan. I don't know. Jordan, can you hear me? Jordan can't hear me. So, um, if I can get to the editor, I might be able to, oof, oof, this doesn't look good. Hmm. Let me take a look and see what we can do. See if we can take this out. See, I think that's just going to give us another issue. It's not going to be fun. Yeah. Whoop. Hang on. We might get out of this yet, kids. Eh, we might not. Oh, if we can select everything. What I'm doing right now, what has happened is we record automation, which is just lines and curves that it's like connect the dots for our recordings. And it allows me to keep track of fader position, mutes or anything like that. And for whatever reason, well, probably because it's a pre-release that you shouldn't be using in production, Audacity went haywire with drawing automation dots. So instead of like saying for one minute, you know, there's nothing going on, there's no movement, it's just drawing continuous automation, which is causing issues, if you might have noticed. So I think that's just you, Michael. This has nothing to do with the, um, it's not completely. Ha! Did you and you? Hold on, I gotta reboot. Will. Way.
Brought to you by Dell. What I'm doing right now is I have to restart these boxes so they can resync their network audio. And we, we, we get to do a little bit of dancing. It's gonna be fun. Feel free to say something, Pedro. <laughs> it's just the video was very, very frozen for a bit of that. Yeah. I don't use QJAC CTL, but it's a good way to look at the logs. I have a shell script that starts everything. Who would use GUI for their jack? Okay, so now I gotta restart. Yep, hang on. Yes, now that uh, distinctly started making noise all of a sudden. <laughs> so, that was fun. <laughs> Apparently people had a lot of fun with the, uh, the jankiness of the <laughs> audio blurp there. <laughs> go, go, speed Dell. It's fun, man. If it, see, that's how I know I've gotten extremely bored. If I ever come in here and start racing these two boxes since they're identical. <laughs> yeah, when I started um, to work yeah. for HE, I had a Dell Optiplex. That was my work machine. I, I hear a picture. Good. There we go. What the hell was that? I don't know, but it sounded real muffled. <laughs> yeah. Ah, Jitsi. Yeah, Jitsi. Jitsi. I'm just gonna build my own fucking server. <laughs> Bye, Jordan. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Jordan. <laughs> am, I, am I super muffled now? It was for a minute, man. It was for All a minute. Alright. I'm not getting any return video. Are you yeah, getting my video? Yeah, I was in the doing that when you bounced out and bounced back in. So now ah, I figured, I, just, I, figured yeah, I just needed to refresh. Okay. There we go. There it is. And then that... But, is it back? Yeah, I'm just fucking with you at this point because you tells me to have to refresh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is all that was. Um. So. Um. That's gonna keep things interesting this evening. <laughs> My muff is the good stuff, Steve. You know it. Listen, man, I'm a lumberjack, and I'm okay. I sleep all night, and I work all day. Yeah, you know, that's the best we can do with that. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can have that. Nah, nah. Nah, I'm good. 
Listen, just because I put on women's clothing and hang around the bar in bars doesn't mean you can judge me. <laughs> I judge you as much no, as I judge everyone else. Sweetheart, I, I judge you plenty. Time. It's just not based on any of that. <laughs> Good. <laughs> judge me on my judgment-worthy traits. Like, I don't know. I'm sure you could list out a dozen of them. I don't, I don't know. I don't think we have enough time to go through all of them. <laughs> That that's that is a podcast in and of itself. Welcome back to the What the Fuck is Wrong with Me podcast. This week we're taking a look at the letter E. So I gotta pull back on this limiter just a little bit. Um... <laughs> like butt clenching. There's plenty of butt clenching. I don't know what you're talking about. Jordan, do you, do you ever pick the wild flowers? I like to press wild flowers. What's that? It's when you like take flowers and you press them between pages in a book. Why would you do that to a four flower, man? Because it deserves it. They know what they did. Uh, tell um, me more about that. The only one of those that I did was a four-leafed clover. That you overlooked before? <laughs> No, I found it because I saw it's like a bunch of clovers and one had like a leaf like dangling down. It's like, oh, that's actually a four leaf oh, clover. Oh, so you got All like right. some defective fucked up four leaf clover, man. You got like three and three <laughs> yes. quarters leaf. You're like, ah. Oh, Dude, uh. they, no, that, that, that's like finding a leprechaun, but it turns out that it's the leprechaun from the movie Leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> you just show up and empties there. He's like, hey, man, what's going on? No, but uh, after I put it in the book, I, like, got the leaf to come up where it should have been, and I just pressed it down, and it looked like a proper four-leaf clover. <laughs> Did it bring you any luck? Did you hit the crops tables? Motherfucker, have you met me? <laughs> so, yes. Did you win? <laughs> I mean, it, or it took... Several fucking years, at least more than two decades, for my life to get anywhere near. Um, I thought possible. you were going to go for, to find your four leaf clover. I'm like, fuck, oh, I, they're like all over my fucking front yard, man, if you want some. <laughs> you, got, you got those mutated clover seeds? Dude, I was just going to. It, it's get a regular to clover field. them on me. I'm like, mmm. It's regular clover fields. John Goodman comes out of your basement, tries to get you back in there. Um, since we've had to bounce Jetsy so many times, Jordan, can you close Chrome? And Sure. Yeah, it's coming out a little blood out. Not really. I'm still getting him back for fucking movie a minute ago. <laughs> Don't tell him. No mercy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Good, good. Okay. Hawkeye. So now I can pull... What does this remind me of, this song? Mm -hmm. Ah. It seems like a pretty generic riff that could be used it in does. any song. Doesn't it? It's, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of House of the Rising Sun, maybe. And, um, it's something in that riff is like, yeah. They call it, the rising sun. And it's been the root of the I don't trouble. know, man. I don't know. I mean, it's in the same meter, so it works, right? Like, yeah. And God, I know a, I'm one. It's, it's like how you can sing any ballad to the tune of Gilligan's Island. <laughs> Because it's it's the ballad meter, right? Like mm -hmm. that that that's how you can tell if like someone's like I wrote this ballad for you. Can you sing it to the tune of Gilligan's Island? Uh, no, then it's not a ballad. There's a there's a bunch of like Emily Dickinson poems that you can read to the tune of Gilligan's Island, and it's hilarious. All right, Boris the Spider. I've never heard the ballad of Boris the Spider. How does that go? 
There is a spider <laughs> in New Orleans. They call him Boris. The, the spider. End. That's it. Credits. <laughs> that's, it. that's it. <laughs> All right. Um, I didn't say it was a long ballad. No. Nope. Short and sweet. That's what I like. To the point. That's a, that's what I look for in a good ballad. Um, all right. We are lined up. Let's get into the news. And okay. He's on a quest. He's on a Libra quest. Still Libra quest. I don't know. Why am I going with Monster Mash? I don't know, man. <laughs> the problem is, is my brain immediately started doing um, post production, well, pre production on the fucking music video. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was working in the lab when late one night. It's like, all right, we can do this. I don't know. We're going to block this off. But yeah, all right. All right. <clears throat> uh... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, prepare yourself for a little bit of news. A little short. A little sweet, like us. In three, two. Well, my eye has certainly beheld an eerie sight, uh, and it's got nothing to do with the fact that we're going to do the nudes, I mean the news, later. But, uh, no. First, we need to thank you, because for some reason, if that intro wasn't explanation enough, you decided that it's it not. was a good idea to give us a budget. So how, wait a minute. How, how do you walk out and tell the beautiful people who make this show possible and you just confuse the shit out of them and be like, yeah, give us money. Listen, we don't Ta-da. have enough budget to make yes. sense. <laughs> if, if you want That's us to thing. make sense, you're going to need to up our budget. And in order to do that, you got to head on over to LinuxGameCast.com. Jordan, that's just going to revolt the same shit with a smoke machine. <laughs> I'm not seeing the problem here. We need more fair, smoke machines. We got to put that on the Amazon point. list. Fine. Yeah, head on over, head on over to LinuxGameCast.com. Click that uh, smoke machine button, mm-hmm. and I don't know. It will, <laughs> we have multiple ways to get smoke machines. <laughs> yeah, it will just, it will just, it, it delivers a smoke machine to us. <laughs> no, uh, mouse over the support button. We got many ways to support us: sleeper pay, we got PayPal, we got a wish list, we got Bitcoins. But the best way to do it is Patreon. Patreon's great because you get stuff in return. For your patronage, beyond just this wonderful content it's that we produce. It's not just smoke machines with us. We do like to dance for our dinner, man. I mean, there's there's disco balls, there's laser lights, there's like flamethrowers. No, I wish there was Laser smoke. Teespring doesn't there do flamethrowers. Flame and it's the worst. But anyways, <laughs> Patreon, that's what we're talking about. Uh, become a Patreon. Any level gets you access to Discord, which is pretty cool, because if you're on our Discord, you can show up... Uh, an hour early at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time on Saturdays and get an extra full hour of Linux Gamecast goodness as we debug technical problems and reboot computers and complain about our lives. It's good yes. stuff. <laughs> and you, you get a custom RSS feed and video when available. But at 2 50 a week, uh, you get access to the show notes. That's the cool stuff because you get to see the show before it's made. You get all the spoilers and you can even contribute, mm. which is good. We like that audience participation. It uh, is but- brilliant. Yeah, there's some other good ways to support us too. We got a store, store.linuxgamecast.com. No flamethrowers, Teespring. I'm so disappointed. Flamethrowers and booty shorts. That's what I want. I want flame and booty shorts. You know what? We fire. have normal, regular, ordinary <laughs> business apparel, like the Use Me t-shirt. We have a beautiful Frank, who's still doing social distancing. I know you can hear me, Frank. Um, <laughs> and a couple of, we have one with all of our faces on it, so we're equally there so we can all suffer through that and i uh, I, I get to be in the cleavage it's great you, you do man exactly i don't know why I, I need to release the pictures the uh that i had stenciled those off of man they're even more horrific oh man maybe we do a full color version like one of those oh god shows. no <laughs> yeah. like, like hyper realistic yeah just nightmare fuel man it, oh. it, 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 it's it's like those bits in red and stimpy where it like zooms in and they just do like the super <laughs> detailed drawings <laughs> and as always if you want to end up on this glowy fine upstanding cannibal wall 3.0 i gotta readjust that camera uh that's anything that is purchased on the studio wish zone that enables cheat mode for us to have more toys to go horribly wrong with for your entertainment that's how that works yes and hope and hopefully make some more sense Bit. Not not if Pedro has anything to say about it though. We do get to make some cool educational videos that kind of help people out though. Like for the next the next us wherever they're at. Hopefully, like tomorrow. Like yeah. Well, what what when 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 the alien archaeologists show up and rough rummage through the ruins of the internet, they're like, oh, that's how you make podcasts. Oh, that Fine. explains <laughs> a lot. All right. Okay, that's where it began. It, it's like yeah. Bill and Ted, but with um 
Yeah, laser yeah, snake. As yeah. it turns out, in the year thirty twenty five, we're really hot with the, the you know, sun oh, going like red giant a little early. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Laser smoke. If if only we didn't use all those smoke machines to <laughs> increase the global warming. I, I don't. I don't know. All right. And, and enough of this nonsense. Let's talk about free nonsense. Free Stadia. Stadia, you know it. It's well, that overpriced controller that has a Wi-Fi thing built into it where you can uh, play <laughs> games as long as you don't need to move real fast at them. And, um, you know, this is directly from blog.google.google because that's a TDL now. We're facing some of the most challenging times. Da, 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 da. Anyone who signs up will get two free months of Stadia Pro with instant access to nine games, including Grid Destiny 2 and Thumper. Giggity. Uh, you can opt out of your subscription. Oh, Oh, wait a minute. Are you just being dicks? Do you do you want them credit digits in order to get a taste of this, Google? Because you're already oh, fucked up oh, the yeah. launch of this. So mm -hmm. might as well just uh, phone it in the rest of the way. If you want the two free months, you got to give them the digits. Well, I, I, I mean, have here, to. Over here, here's I can't the, even do that. <laughs> here's the thing, though. They already have my credit card, right? So right. they don't even need to ask. <laughs> just, yeah, get, get you two free months. Here's We're gonna the keep thing. You, I, I guess I missed that because I was like, you know what? Fine. I'll like set this up and for science is like, hey, it might make a fun stream, you know? And I, I was in the beta test of like Stadia two years ago, whenever that was. Yeah, for and, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Yeah. And I, I got, I played the game and it's like, it, for what it was, it worked at the time. And uh, so I signed up through the browser and naturally I was like, oh, what? I'm using Chrome beta. Uh, like, Maybe I'll just use regular Chrome and it'll, I guess I missed the step where they asked for those digits because I just signed up and it's like, buy some shit, Vin. I'm like, yeah, no. Yeah. Apparently if you give them the digits, you get, uh, you get those games as mentioned. Mm -mm. I don't know. I don't know. This, this is Google. This no is one's a good going to give you your digits to try an unproven, untested service that no one, you know. I mean, to Google's credit, this is the best time for a beta test because everyone's stuck at home. Every you're giving it away for free, so people are going to be using the service. Can I ask you it may like not a, be great. A legitimate but, question, though. Sure. Wouldn't you say the best time for a beta test for this was like a month and a half ago? When when it was time to beta test it. Listen, you can't no, no, expect no, 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 multi-billion no, no. dollar corporations with millions of dollars of market Jordan, research to make smart I'm, decisions. You're missing what I'm laying down. A month and a half ago, when all this self-isolation started not when we're mm -hmm. getting towards the supposed yeah. end I, i'm saying google has managed to fumble fuck stadia and like <laughs> all throughout conception announcement delivery and we now yeah. we're in the you haven't killed it yet phase of stadia I, th I think they can't kill it yet because, like, they got contracts with Bungie and EA and all this yes, shit. They're like, there's a lot of money. <laughs> there, 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 there's, there is a lot of money tied up in Stadia right now. And I don't think Google could survive the legal onslaught that would occur. I'm I, unsolicited advice is always, but when you sign up and create an account, it's like, here, would you, you need to give me something to try. I, I don't care if it's Hello Kitty Island Adventure. But when you signed up just for a free account, regular, plain free, there's nothing. It's like, yeah, give us money if you want to use our mm -hmm. service. I'm like, I don't know if your service is going to work with my internet speeds and my computer and my browser. Well, you can find out uh, after you give us some money and followed by, well, what if it doesn't work to get a refund? <gasps> well, can I transfer my game to like Steam or something? Uh, you can download your save games. Oh, okay. What what happens when you close the service? Well, you know how that goes, fucker. Why even ask that? <laughs> yeah, um, we're Google. But, but yeah, on. no, I uh, well, so I wait, just wait, tried wait, it. We, we don't we don't forget Google right Plus now. And all I'm getting is an error. The item that you were attempting to purchase could not be found. What was it? It was the freaking trial for Stadia. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, Google <laughs> bug report. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't even freaking work. <laughs> so I, I, I blame British Telecom. No, man, I don't know. <laughs> uh, once you're done um, smacking around Google, we can um, pull the hate train right up to the Atari station. Whoop, whoop, oh, yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So, um, VCS, uh, well, Xbox co-creator uh, Rob Wyatt sues Atari for failing to pay him for the design of the VCS console. 
how you managed to license the design of okay, the Okay, where, where do we sit on the after... actual design of this console, though? Because I it don't hate it. Looks it looks okay. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't yeah, it own it, and I, I will very, mock you for uh, owning it. very close one. to the original, and I guess Atari kind of owned that, but how a third party manages to claim ownership of that particular design when it's very clearly so much based on the original one. Dude, it's, beyond no, me. No, 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 it's a no, box no, no, you, with you, you, Fox uh, faux wood paneling on it. It was called the so, 70s. No, it's <laughs> it's called, it's the, they're not ripping off Atari, they're ripping off the Thelio. They're ripping off System 76. <laughs> that's, what's, that's what's really happening here. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, no, apparently... You know, to add on to everything else in Atari, the current holders of the name Atari, let's be clear about this, uh, have decided that it would be a much wiser investment to set up a hotel rather than, you know, hotel finishing the console that they chain. already... Chain, yes, hotel <laughs> chain. <laughs> You're making too small for such a grand organization <laughs> the, well the french holding company that owns the right yeah the, yes. the, the Atari, uh, the yes the atari hotel chain see but that's the thing see, but but, but, but everything is wood no. paneled everything is wood paneled listen it's shit like that is how i know all of this is a simulation okay <laughs> no, 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 we it's are too living in the it's, Matrix. And it's, it's too stupid. stupid to be fake. It's too stupid to be fake. I, I don't believe it. So, <laughs> so here, here's the thing. Here, here's the here's my question. Boy. The Steam Boy. When the Steam Boy is looking far more likely to come out and be, you know, a real boy, you know you fucked it. You fucked well, it hard. Here, here's my question, though. Does Rob actually think that he's going to get some money out of it? Because I'm pretty sure whatever money they do have is, like, distributed across, like, a dozen Cayman and Swiss accounts right now. They're oh. not seeing a dime of that anymore. It's That's... definitely spread out. He'll, he'll never see any of that. Probably shouldn't. I mean, I understandably, you know, when they did their fundraising, you know, to... What, what's the and, interest in this? And they're like, okay, we'll do... Th and why are we talking about this to begin with? Because... It's running Linux, allegedly, if it's yeah. ever going to get big. <laughs> Supposedly. I mean, I, th th we were told it was running Linux, but I don't think it's running anything but like a hollow oh, plastic shell at the moment. 100%. I mean, mm -hmm. this will probably absolutely, I saw this, I'm like, you know what? There are people who still think this is going to come out. And it's not. No. <laughs> no. That, 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 that money is gone. <laughs> It, 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 it has been, it, is, it has been converted into a mountain of cocaine and you're never going to see it again. Oh. Well, do we have any good news then? I mean, if you're if you're a big fan of Master of Orion, we do. Okay. Uh, yeah, because like if DOSBox or Free Orion isn't doing it for you these days, we got it. We got a project here. It's called Remnants of the Precursors. That is a they're basically they're basically just re-implementing the rule set for Master of Orion, and that's it. That's the project. Um, it's done in Java, so it will run on mm, your toaster. Not Java. well, mind not well, mind you. But at the very least, when your toast is done, you'll get like your map update embedded on the on the toast, so you can have a <laughs> snack and see see your Master of Orion updates. Um, but it should the the release beta should be out by the time you're listening to the recorded version of this. It's not quite out yet. Um, but yeah, if you just like Master of Orion, it is. That that's what it is, but but the serial numbers filed off. I, I'm going to be 100 percent honest with you. Couldn't uh, you deliver this in HTML5? You know what? You probably could, but this guy wanted to use Java. <laughs> okay, why not Flash? Someone wanted to justify that particular university degree, but okay. So, uh -huh. but here, here's 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 the thing though. <laughs> you can write stuff in Flash, and all Macromedia Flash does is it converts it into like HTML5 and WebGL and shit. So. <laughs> WebAssembly. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Um, yeah, that's interesting. I mean, I didn't ever really play. I did not at all play the original game, but I know some people like that. And hey, man, Java. Java is at least something you can absolutely hate it. But I mean, you're still going to be able to run it in 30 years. Yeah. I mean, there's still going to be some way to get it. At, at, Thanks, at, Minecraft. At this, at this point, it's stable. So mm. you know what? Uh, there, there, <laughs> there are worse choices for languages to write your game in. Let's be real at this point. The J JVM performance hit is nil because you're running a multi gigahertz CPU. Like, who cares? This is true. So what's Cataclysm? Cataclysm is a uh, tile or text-based roguelike that takes place in a zombie apocalypse. Um, it's turn-based like most rogue games. Um, 
and it comes in two varieties, the Curses version and the Tiles version. And I tried both because I was curious to see, like, okay, how jank is the uh, Curses version compared to the Tiles version? They're actually very similar. Like, aside from, like, the at symbols and stuff, like, it's mm -hmm. the same game. So, you know, good, good on you for, like, implementing that properly. Um, so, I mean, it's text-based survival horror. If you're stuck in a class or in a late-night deployment waiting for a deploy script to finish, this is a thing that you can run on your server, and yep, you can you can play a game. So, how old school is this? When when you say this is not ASCII, this is text-based, right? No, it's ASCII. Like you're oh. an at symbol and you're moving around the grid like a net hack. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. See, mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry, developer. I was trying to give you an excuse not to have any screenshots whatsoever, either on your web zone <laughs> or your GitHub page. You can, there's an unofficial Reddit that actually has people <laughs> posted videos and some um, lewd videos. So mind you. Uh, ask, ASCII boobies. Mm. <laughs> At least one of them had a very suggestive thumbnail, but Ooh. I did have to click through one of the videos just so I could see the what the game would look like because I right. honestly didn't feel like it. Uh, but yeah, no, it, it it very much looks like your standard run of the mill roguelike, except the setting is a little bit different. It's not your standard fantasy thing. It's uh, zombie survival. Hmm. Yeah, I I, I mean. Term terminal games are nice just because like there there are times when you don't have a GPU or you're just kind of stuck yep. in a place. And Unfortunately, you... what Jordan just said is lies because now you have your mobile. That's true, um, but I don't, I don't know. Some people like playing games in terminals. Oh no, I hundred percent agree with you. It's like I remember those days before I had a supercomputer that was like right there. I'm like, yep, three D acceleration, I'm good. But then I'm just going to use that browse the web. That's my new game. <laughs> yes. subreddit roulette pretty much man <laughs> maybe you want to do some of the nonsense like we do and you use OBS to stream your game stream your show, stream your dog, stream your cat maybe stream some laser smoke man, uh, one tool that you might want to look into because you want to do like um, a two CPU setup, you know you want to have one for your gaming and a rig dedicated for your streaming. You first thought to do that. It's like, oh man, I got to go buy some of those expensive capture cards and then bitches about how expensive those are, which are true. Don't do that at first. Something I want you to try is OBS NDI. You might know if you've ever searched for it on the internet, uh, New Tech, the company that makes TriCasters, if you do a Google search, they did a blog about a post I made way back when, but uh, this will allow you to do it over with software just over your standard gigabit ethernet over your network, and it works really good. It's extremely low latency and um, very low on the CPU usage. Now, I've talked about this before. The reason I'm bringing this up is the latest release is now compatible with version 25 of OBS, nice. and it's got the latest version of NDI 4.5. You're going to... And I... I common complaint I hear is like, well, it's too heavy on the system. These optiplexes that granted have been upgraded to four core. Thanks, Pennywise. Thanks, my uh, non molt hyper threaded parts. Uh, what are they? I five herpetrons. Yeah. yeah, 20. They're, they're Ivy Bridge I fives, I think. These things, these things with integrated graphics can do 720p streaming without dropping frames. So, yeah, I'm sure you're gaming rig can uh, use NDI. Nope. You can, yeah, it'll work fine. Give that a look if you're looking uh, to do anything like that before you go just, you know, paying all them dollar bills. I just want to throw that out there. I tried to get Pager to use it one time. He told me to go die in a fire. Will it run on my <laughs> Xbox, though? <laughs> uh, if, if you leave me alone within the closet for a few minutes, it will. <laughs> It you runs said on that my last... Xbox, but uh, it's running a La full on x86 PC in there. So <laughs> listen, listen, last time you did that, though, I got caught in a fist fight with Ben Franklin. I don't want to do that. Yeah, either. and I got <laughs> stitches in my groin. So, hey, man. Yeah. Who really lost? Ben Franklin. That's, that's it. right. <laughs> Coming up next, we're throwing chairs at Vorion in space. Space stitches. Space snitches <laughs> get space stitches. <laughs> I put that brick in your face. Ladies and gentlemen, head over to vote.linuxgamecast.com where you can play the home game and suggest things that will straight up, you know, because we put whatever nude, because the word nude was in the show titles <laughs> last week. Um, 
this, this is why uh, we do absolutely we mean it when we say it appreciate your financial support because YouTube is like fuck you on monetization just out of the bat pa pa Pedro I just had like a great idea for like in instead of Jason X it's Stitches X and it's just Stitches in space <laughs> throwing bricks in people's face let's see X getting high on his own supply kill cat <laughs> Cat killed a penguin. It's too stupid. Google dot Google. I'm, I'm gonna give it's too stupid to be fake. That would be a good. That's a good show title. <laughs> too too stupid to be fake. Asky babbies. I think they're supposed to be boobies, but it's babbies. Be dumber. I'll give be dumber. <laughs> <laughs> Linux Gamecast. Be, be dumber. dumber. <laughs> that's our new slogan. <laughs> <laughs> put put that shit on the website. We'll get some fucking motherfucking business cards, baby. Be dumber. Be dumber. <laughs> Alright, Mike Arm. Me and you were about to Thunderous hide. urination wasn't said during the show, so that doesn't count. Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't. <laughs> Can it count like a little you, bit? You know the rules. And so, and so do, do I. I. <laughs> A full commitment's what I'm thinking of, and you wouldn't get this from any other guy, or a Linux podcast for that matter. So who's enjoying their um, over-the-shoulder playthrough of Final Fantasy remake? Because that's all any Twitch streamer's fucking doing, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to sign up for the ride. <laughs> I think Were they not I... allowed to stream it properly? <laughs> No, what? that's 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 the perspective. It's all over the shoulder. Yeah. Oh, okay. They, yeah, because uh, it's it's using the same system that I think Final Fantasy 15 is. I have no idea. I've never played Final Fantasy. That's not like oh yeah. So I'd, I've just never owned a system that I've played I ran on. three, four, six, seven, nine, ten, and thirteen. Mm. In no particular order. I know Let's the guy see, with the um, fuck seven, up hair is called eight. Cloud, right? The guy with the fuck big sword. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Cloud. Yeah. <laughs> there, but there's a guy I played who seven, there's... eight, and then six, four. Uh, I think I started the first one just because I wanted to see what it was like, and I never finished it. Um, now, the reason I played I've never touched that nonsense ten. is it's. Everyone I've ever been aware of has been turn-based, and I, I, I don't dance like that. But this one is uh, combat. Real, yeah, uh, they've, they've they've been leaning t towards more of that since like thirteen. Okay, thir thir thirteen was still turn-based, but there was like an active management element you needed to do, mm. where you're like switching your Twelve teams up. Twelve was like that too. <laughs> yeah, um, and uh, fi fifteen. Uh, Fifteen, I think they they did a lot more of like a Kingdom Hearts thing. So yeah, you run around. There, there, there. You can do it turn based if you want, but you can also do like an action style if you want. But you gotta read. You gotta respect Squeenix, man. Squeenix didn't even like put out the whole game. They're like, here's a little bit of it, fuckers. You're gonna buy it. No, well, oh, it's discounted. Nah, sixty bucks, son. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, you that, gotta that respect the, that a little bit. <laughs> well done. They te they teased that like right at the beginning of the PS4, and everyone marked so hard about it. And like now now we're at the end of the PS4 life cycle. PS5 is coming out next year, and yeah, they're just like, hey, we, we did it, you guys. Still a better love story than the Last Guardian, though. They're like, oh yeah, it's supposed to be a PlayStation 3 game released on PS4. <laughs> The, um, yeah, no, that's Oh, is it uh, only on PS4? Dip. It's not on PC? It'll be on PC eventually. Oh. They, they, they do that with the main... Unlike Bayonetta 2. Unlike Bayonetta. Just you unlike can, it. You can blame Sega for that one. No, you can blame Nintendo for that one. <laughs> Nintendo, Sega, it's basically the same thing. Most, most Sonic games now you buy on the Switch. <laughs> Man, that, this is like a moon. Like, if 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 I took like someone, some like random kid out of the '90s and brought him here, he's like, "Yeah, now you just play Sonic games on Nintendo." He'd be like, "What? No, my Genesis." Yep. <laughs> I'm Mario and Sonic here. go to the Olympics, motherfucker. Um, so, uh, the other game everyone lost their shit over has like been perpetually delayed. Uh, the Last of Us. The Last two? of Us Two. Yeah. yeah. It's like okay. I mean, I, I've watched some people like play billions of years ago, but I was like, ah, oh, okay. 
You know, the story's really good. No, it must have to been there. Oh, the paper wolf's gone. Damn. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Huh. Maybe Nori's at Anthrocon UK. I don't know. Possibly. Also, Pedro can't give you uh, any more shit about having un uneven squares. Even though I'm, I'm impressed that you've managed to maintain some gappage with that many um, battles. It's not completely flush against the wall. Like That's why. Pedro's getting pretty rough. Oh, I guess I gotta get my hood donor. It's that time of the night. Mm hmm I gotta get something to drink. Yes. <laughs> so, Pedro. Yes? Well, well, a, um, what happened to Wolfie? Uh, Nori disintegrated him. No, she's just that anthropologist. Tell me how he went. I need to know. <laughs> Nori is like, okay, dude was supposed to come and pick this up so his kids could do a thing and didn't show up. So I'm just gonna pick it up, take it to the kitchen, rip it apart, put it into uh, some bags, and uh, off to the recycling it goes. Okay. <laughs> Also, the, um, what was it? Oh, yes, your acoustical tiles. They shrunk a little bit, didn't they? <laughs> I was in the pool! I was in the pool! <laughs> it was cold outside, baby. I swear, it never happens. <laughs> like, what were you doing in the pool again with the acoustical tiles? Shut up, leave it alone. Well, so, actually, actually funnily enough, it comes with a note. <laughs> like the, the 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 pack of acoustic tiles from Amazon, it comes with a note that like if any of these are misshapen, um, like drown them in water and let them let them rest again. Oh, so are, maybe, are they like the little dinosaur capsules? I think so. Yeah. Wouldn't that be fucked up? Man? Oh, is, you just get like just... one giant acoustic. Tile. <laughs> I'm just thinking, you just get like a pill bottle, man. <laughs> tiles. <laughs> I guess the variance in humidity has gotten them. You don't pay any attention to Fuck it, man. Up. You leave it soaking overnight. Come out and you door to your washer's like all blown out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just tile. You just hear your cat muffled in there somewhere. Uh, no, you can't because it's blocking the sound. <laughs> uh. Right, let me get something to drink. Yeah, no, it's getting to that time of the year that it's no longer comfortable to wear this hood. What do you mean I look like the Vietnam cats? Do I look like the Vietnamese cast of cats? Which one? Is it like Rum Tum Tugger or like Fuckle Stiltskin or something? I don't know. I don't know the names of the cats. <laughs> it's that meme, but with the cat picture. <laughs> Are you sure? I think so. <laughs> okay, my brain just went to some really, really bad place. So let's let's not do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the eject button. Nope, 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 nope. Don't need that. Can't say that on stream. Uh.
Ah, uh, there are things that are better left unsaid. <laughs> but now they're in my brain, damn it. Now they're in my brain. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I was, I was talking about watching Italian Spider-Man. The fucking dude who's like... <laughs> and he keeps, like, showing up, too. Oh, come on, Maddie. It's not boring. It's, uh, I've actually been very much, um, bored looking forward to not having to go into the office to do work because, hey, wouldn't you know what? I can do most of that stuff from home. <laughs> Be careful. I can with play that. more video games. Nah, man. Eventually, it's going to get to the point where they're like, okay, we're just going to need you to keep inventory at your house. <laughs> Dude, I had, to, I had to move a 200 pound printer to someone's house because they need to work from home and they need to print like documents. A 200? Oh, you mean that had to be like a copy or a. Yeah, a MFD. Full on MF, MFD <laughs> with the uh, finisher. Did it have the staples? <laughs> those are No, yeah. so I, actually, it didn't they have fuck the up photocopier. Spectacularly. It's, um, it was like a five ream thing for like doing the, like the, the binders. Extra and yeah, for like extra long documents and stuff, or like the the ones where you fold them, that yeah, fold them in half. <laughs> this document's clearly not official. Why? Well, you can tell by the length. <laughs> you do not need a scroll for this. That's how it's done in Canada. They still use scrolls. Oh, um, for for a second there, my brain is like scroll wheel for a physical document. Yeah, I could use one of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just reading something in front of you and just yeah. like, why isn't it scrolling? Why it, is it... <laughs> you should just point the mouse at it and go. <laughs> Oh, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Uh, okay, so I need a source. Pedro, I know you sent me the... Uh... I did. Is it video.mp4.mp4.mp4? No, it's game.mp4.m4v. Hmm. <laughs> .avi.rmvb. Yeah. yeah, just start sending them to him in uh, real media format. You put it in that container. Uh... One of these days, I'll just change it to game.mp4 and be done with it. <laughs> no, like, that's the thing. You gotta, you gotta switch every week. Keep them on his toes. <laughs> Where are you downloading, you wacky thing? <laughs> Somehow it ends up on another computer. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah, right. <laughs> How did that like, happen? <laughs> these things aren't even on the same network. What the fuck? <laughs> No. That's Axiom no. Bridge. <laughs> I, I'm downloading something right now, so I'm re downloading it. I'm throwing Chrome under the bus on this one because that is supposed to auto download to the downloads directory. Um... Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. Huh? Hey, there it is. <laughs> now that looks about right. <laughs> Ish. Doesn't matter. We'll just go with it. Don't worry about it. I mean, like, that's the thing, though. You Like, you can fix that shit in post. You can just, <laughs> you can just show the wrong away. video. <laughs> it's a pod racer in the back room. No, Maddie, Nintendo was too busy going off of ASMR 2. Because they were releasing their own Metroid 2 remake on the 3DS, which apparently was actually really well done. Um... But still. Yeah, once the two DSs are like 10 pounds on eBay, I might buy one. Which one's that? That was the 3DS without the, any of the 3D stuff and it doesn't fold up. Oh, Mulligan. Yep. Yeah. You get the two screens on a flat plane. <laughs> Supposedly, that was actually the ruggedized one they were intending to give to like toddlers. Because the. <laughs> 
Like, yeah, no, like, n n Nintendo handheld console design is interesting because, like, they build them like toys because they expect children to, like, chuck them and, like, just be terrible to them like children Well, do. I think the North American ones, they do. <laughs> yeah. That's, <laughs> that's why, fair, like... That was, like, the market for the Game Boy, right? Right, but, like, that, that that's why the OG, like, brick game, game Boy can literally take a mortar and still work. And there's literally there's literally one in a museum that <laughs> took a mortar and can still play Tetris. So, right. Nintendo man, I'm telling you, man. <clears throat> build build the tank out of old Nokia 3310s and Game Boys. Yep. Why did you have a case on that Nokia? <laughs> Nokia. And it's like to, protect to protect the floor. The floor. Yeah, to protect the world <laughs> from it. <laughs> So let's pull that down and <clears throat> ready to go. Ready, Freddy. In three, two, one. Welcome back to the Chairquisition, where this week we try not to asphyxiate in the cold depths of space. We're taking a look at Avorion. Uh, it's developed by Boxelware. It's done on a custom engine using C++, Lua, and OpenGL. Uh, you can pick it up for about 24 bucks US. What is it? Procedural co-op space sandbox where players can build their own spaceships out of dynamically scalable blocks, fight epic space battles, explore, mine, trade, wage wars, and build your own empire to save your galaxy from being torn apart by an unknown enemy. Uh, we've got to thank the devs for sending us some keys over Curator Connect. So let us begin. How does mm. this work on, on, on the Debians? Man, I got the new hotness, the new Debian. I'm not on Debian stale anymore, kids. I'm not. I'm on Debian space testing. Space Mm, no, no, that that's next week. Uh, so, <laughs> <clears throat> as normal, I'm running kernel. Actually, I'm running the latest and greatest kernel right now. So it's five. What is it? Five three, five six, something like that. Five five six, I think. Five six. I could five, do name six, A right yeah. now. I'm just too lazy. <laughs> but uh, preempt Threadripper, 1920x, 32 gigs of RAM, NVIDIA 2060, more than enough to play this monster, this juggernaut. Once you get it running. And it runs fine after that. Uh, 60 at 1080 at 4K 2160. And I do say get it running since I had to launch the game. Not once, not twice, but the third time after the update. Did fuck all, kids. Nothing. Just kept on hammering that play button and it eventually came up. That was the last one I was going to give it. I'm just going to uninstall it. I'm like, I'm not even going to finish playing this. But it did manage to launch in uh, 720p, which is... Interesting, interesting little window to pack and hunt at uh, UHD. The keyboard, gerbil, worked, no problem. As expected, happy to see that. Look at it, it's a little Lego ship. Mine's all diseased looking. Uh, right out of the bat, in the tutorial, I hated the menu on this game. I, I knew I was in for some bullshit as soon as it said, hold left shift to activate the cursor. Like, oh, what? Because, like, seriously, you, you'll just have, like, this menu of, you know, spreadsheet up. And it's like, oh, there's more spreadsheet. Hold down left so you can click on other stuff and submenus. That can die in a fire. Um, it's just bad menu design. I'm not the only one who complained about that. And uh, I did have fun, though. Because you, you see, if you're watching the video version, you get to build a little Lego spaceship. And Pedro clearly spent more time than I did constructing the <laughs> Yorg cube. It was kind of like a Borg cube that's misspelled. You know, I put all the bits in the absolute wrong places with the wrong parts, but I ended up with something. I did. I ended up with something more akin to a disease shoebox than a spaceship. But you know what? Your cube could fly. Kind of. You know, it, uh, enough to where I was like, you know what? With a little bit of work, a little bit of forethought, I can bullshit my way over here. So I continued on my spacey journey. I stuck with it. I made it to a space dock. I picked up a contract to get some satellites. And I just kind of got lost from there, man. Uh, I agree with future Jordan. I kind of need some direction. <laughs> and how to progress. Just a little hint. You know, it's like, go do this. This is like, boom, drop you in the middle of space. Space is big. It's like, have fun. Figure out what to do, fucko. There's a lot of stuff to do for said fucko. Um, left my own. I ended up mining some tunnels through some rocks and flying, trying to fly through them because it is an adventure to fly the Yorg cube and um, trying to remember how to do anything in that overly complex menu that you, you're sitting right there. That, that's just the very, very top of it. There's a ton of shit to do in this game though, but the learning curve, it's a bit too steep for my taste because at the end of the day, 
this comes across as completely promising. If I saw this in early access and was like, okay, if you could refine this and put a better point on it, uh, I, I could see it, you know, with the sandbox and the shipbuilding mechanics. It's kind of fun, you know, armor, weapons, and all that fun stuff. But, you know, I had to go look at the Steam reviews after I've written this and say, hey, I'm not alone. Um, these are just common complaints for the game. And, and apparently on Windows, it is a buggy nightmare I didn't experience. I mean, you might further into the game because there's crew management and all that other fun stuff. But I will say this is not overpriced. It's like 24 wet stinky caches. And if you're someone who stuck at home and you have a couple of hundred of hours to kill and you don't mind what could be described as a daunting learning curve just from that main menu is a bit of a comes across as maybe a refresher course for somebody who's got a thousand hours into the game versus never played this game before. And the game's like, yeah, you'll figure it out. No, you won't. I mean, you might if you stick with it. It could be a desert island game, man. Like if you just need hundreds and hundreds of hours if you could dedicate that kind of time to it. And I, I'm really, I really like your ship, Pedro. You spend some time on that. Good on you, buddy. Um, Space penis. Yeah. But after an hour... Oh, then, I tried to avoid the space penis. Trust me. <laughs> you failed hour, to avoid the space penis. <laughs> it, this wasn't for me, man. Um, not in its current state. So, yeah. If you can feel anything I just said right there, um, I can't recommend picking it up right now. Just one chair. Uh, so I got to test this on uh, two systems. I tested it on the laptop, which is running Fedora 31, 64-bit with um, our... 72700U, um, which is the Ryzen mobile processor. It makes that box get hot, but it runs fine at, at 1080 there. Uh, on the i7-6700K with the GTX 1080 Ti, the GTX 1080 Ti running Fedora 30, it also runs 60 at uh, UHD and in uh, 1080p. Although having to reset the game to change your graphical settings, not so hot. Uh, also, it got some load times. You on noticed it that, and, didn't you? Yeah, you want to change mm -hmm. something? Yep, close. Yep. There's there's no apply button. Yeah, uh the the load times are also pretty bad. Um but you know what, whatever. Uh controls are uh, what you'd expect it to be, was to move, click to shoot. The shift menu thing is a bit of a curveball, I'll admit, but like I got I got used to it. It's I, I, I just made sure to like, oh, what are all the keyboard shortcuts? These make sense. All right, now I know what to press and I don't have to hit shift ever. Um, and it looks like Space Minecraft. Hey, every, every time someone mentions Space Minecraft here, take a shot. Um, so for fun. Uh, so if you like the idea of something like EVE Online, but you don't want to necessarily deal with the community and a guild whose main strategy is to flood your system with numerous cheap ships to bog your computer down, this game might be for you because it's pretty flexible um, in the ways you want to play, which is really nice. This is what sandbox games need to do. They need to give you lots and lots of options. If you want to do like Minecrafty No Man's Sky stuff, you can do it. If you want to just build cool spaceships, you can do it. If you want to like adventure around a galaxy and Progress the plot. You can absolutely do that in any number of configurations, as Pedro will go into. Um, the problem I have with this is it's the same problem I have with uh, Minecraft or Terraria or any of these games. When they give you all these options, you get the option paralysis, right? Like, you're like, what, what do I do? So I end up building my horrible monstrosity, and I derp around the stars, and I blow some ships up, and I blow some... I, I took a bunch of missions. I blew up some asteroids. I'm like, okay, I'm kind of bored now. But... Here's where the saving grace might be, because there's multiplayer. It might be fun for a Thursday stream. We probably need to set some ground rules where everyone has built their ship already, because otherwise it just turns into <laughs> the besieged streams. We're all, we're all just like, <laughs> okay, does this fall apart instantly? Cool. No, it fell apart instantly. All right. Um, but that might that might actually be the game changer, because if you have a bunch of people in, you can have space battles, you can set up corporations. There's like AI societies that you can interact with. It could be good fun. Uh, but for now, I got to give it two cheers. Yeah. And over here with the KDED on, on the 3700X and the GTX 1080, now with one display port dead, uh, it launched out of the box. I didn't really have to do anything. It uh, defaulted to 144 FERPs at 2560 by 1440, which at first led me to believe, oh, is this built in Unity? But no, 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 apparently it's a custom engine. Um, you can rebind all the keys, and it uh, if you are in-game and you hit F1, it actually gives you a screen with, like, all the keys that you 
should care about at that particular point it changes if you're like flying around like i am right now or if you're in the uh build mode as far as technical achievements go for me this one was spot on and it's all done with a custom engine so major kudos uh for the fun well yeah this is one of those games it goes even deeper than you think it does mechanically uh and in every respect, it's exactly, uh, there's exactly as much depth as you care to put into it. You don't want to build a ship, you can go to the workshop, download your own, that's fine. But if you want, the amount of customization that you're given with the build tool is so great it, that you can literally make anything you want. What you're looking on screen there was uh, about as much as I could care uh because it's like oh it's a ship it moves it's reliable i can put it in whatever direction i want in a reasonable amount of time so i'm good uh, and the same goes for like all the other mechanics in the game do you want to have the one ship or a whole fleet do you want to just keep exploring and doing missions or do you want to create a whole new sector of your own making it's actually kind of crazy just the amount of stuff that Aphorian gives you to do and it is very much a space minecraft take a shot it's it's very well done game and i'm going to give it four chairs not because it's a game that for me it's whoa, so amazing but i can see just how insane this could be if you actually like this game so yeah, no, if if this looks anywhere near your thing, get it. All right, well, there you go. Three very different opinions, all of which... What did you... Um, did anybody fuck with the multiplayer? No, I didn't get a chance to. No. Uh, mm. I, th I think I might do that on Thursday, though, because I, I know Foxy has a copy of this game, mm -hmm. um, so he's available, so we might do I something I think it's like something that. important to point out uh, with this is there is a drastic difference in system performance on what I'm saying. You might not be able to get away with playing it in Forever Alone single player. Because you have to generate your own server, and this is a common complaint. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, for us, no. But... You know, if, for, if, you're, for, if you're on a laptop, yeah. Right. If you if it's just something yeah. like your standard little laptop, you know, you got for school and whatnot, that could be the difference between it being playable versus not. You might just always be stuck playing online, which I didn't get a chance to play with it uh, online. But hmm, it, it, I'm kind of with Peter. It's like there's something there. It just it needs it needs a little polish I, a little, by a little. I mean a lot. I, I I agree with the, the with the desert island game assessment. Yeah, like if you have an infinite amount of time and like a laptop battery that won't drain, then this might be the game for you. Also, um, if you could just give us a mode to where we can build ships and have space besiege, I think we'd all be cool with it. I, they have they have a creative <laughs> mode, so you can just do that. Yeah, I mean, just straight up. I mean, give, give, I want points, maybe a goal. We want space rocket league with ships and lasers. That's we, it. <laughs> Dude, no, we space dicks versus space vaginas. Come on, that'd be amazing. All right, coming up next, we have a lot of hate mail, so we gotta we gotta get through it. Weird people want to talk to us. Cool. Um, oh, that ended just as it was about to get into some combat. <laughs> You know how to edit video. <laughs> and I you know, know how long these I just started recording and I kept playing. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, I, man. I mean, if you wanted to, like, make something resembling a mild highlight reel, feel free to. <laughs> or just, like, because how, how, much, how much footage do you actually record? Like, usually, what, like, 20, 30 minutes worth? Yeah. Yeah, so, like, you could just... Like these reviews rarely go over ten minutes, right? So, uh, yeah, try to keep them under between 15. ten yeah. and fifteen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, well, you can, you can see, just here's like, the thing. Pedro knows point. everything we're saying. He's like, oh, but it's easier to just record it. <laughs> it's easier to just hit the record button and let it record. I mean, <laughs> Pejitsu is the art of least resistance. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
He will fuck you up if you challenge him in that. It's all laziness all the time. <laughs> yep, I know that. <laughs> Is it laziness or depression? Yes. I it's got too much to do to for that like depression thing, man. La -dee -da, yeah, Mr. Lately, I've been a little too busy. <laughs> <laughs> La dee da, Mr. Intact Brain Chemistry. Ooh, look at me, my brain functions <laughs> yes. like a human shit. Well, I'm probably dealing with my share of CT, so. I was only on serotonin pills for the whole of university, so. Oh, no, I'm just talking about having my head caved in so many times. Oh, yeah, this, you're probably having like micro seizures. <laughs> Don't have Patreon post making him. No. Shut up, Sandy. <laughs> Don't give my ideas. <laughs> can we can we just fix Pedro in post period? <laughs> Dude, I, I have a low grade video production ring, so yeah, man, I, I can do all types of like it, it's staggering and frightening when I start looking at some of the um shit Da Vinci does and it's like man. Oh shit! You know what they need? They need they need like an AI thing that does lip reading and like produces a dialogue track based on what it thinks you're saying. See, here's the thing, dude. Like, you have that hint of imagination. Da Vinci has a thing called face tuning. Mm -hmm. To where I go, hey, Da Vinci, find the face, and it creates a 3D structural skeletal model around the. F We're talking. I mean, it maps out mouths, eyebrows, cheek structure. And it applies using the neural AI engine. Can, <laughs> because can, we, it, can we get Da we Vinci get uses Pedro? RTX, brah, um, <laughs> to do the mapping. And you can do all type of shit to the face, man. I mean, like, I mean, it's not like abstract shit that we're thinking of, but just, and we're talking about consumer price stuff. I mean, it's what, 300 bucks for the program. Like, you can do like real face tuning to it. Like, well, I, I, I mean, I, I, I mean, like, it. Here's the thing. I, I could give Pedro like a straight up, like overdone, like eighties makeup job. And if I didn't fucking tell you, you would think that was on fucking print. Mm. Like you wouldn't, you'd be like, why is, what, when did you guys record this? That would be your first thought. <laughs> we went back in time to record Pedro's segment <laughs> back in his cocaine days. The Thatcher years were rough on him. Well, like, you, you gotta think, too, like, the computer that you have is, like, an order of magnitude more powerful than what they use to, like, do Terminator 2, right? Like... <sighs> your, your phone is more powerful than Deep Blue, right? So... Well, you're talking about, like, hyper-specialized, even, like, the SGI boxes, they were doing that. I mean, they could do that, but they could barely run fucking Doom. Right. So, it depends on the way of looking at it. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're also in 2020, dude. I mean, you can get a non-HDT 16-core AMD CPU now. Like, that'll go and drop into a fucking AM4 socket, regular motherboard. Yep. Yeah. I'm, 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 st I'm staring at that uh, 3900X. I, I'm staring at the 2950X, the la uh, last gen thread rippers, and it was like, yeah, yeah, you know what? Not enough people bought those. Fuck the used market. Sorry, Vin. Go fuck yourself. I'm like, all right, fine. Of course, the one I bought is freely available for 150, 160 bucks now. Still going to pay $300 for a fuck. But then again, if you're buying the, uh, what, the 450s, you're going to be paying $300 for a decent motherboard anyway. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the B four fifties. You could get them for like a hundred, hundred and fifty. I, I said decent. I didn't say one where you're like crossing your fingers, going, mm, "Let's see if it's going to work." No, I, I, the B four fifties are entry level. You want an X five seventy? Yeah, that's different. <laughs> yeah, the 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 thirty nine hundred X in Canada is still like eight hundred some odd dollars with tax and everything. So. <sighs> I yeah yeah the combo kit for like the new uh, 
Threadripper motherboard combo. It's like two thousand nine hundred dollars. Yeah, it's like it's, that's it's, not it's expensive happen. now. I was like, yeah. no. There's nothing well aside from the host of vulnerabilities in the CPU. There's nothing wrong with this computer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's ultimately and the math where... bug that you might trigger at some point yeah. unknowingly. <laughs> well, the. Isn't that kind of like one of the issues that we're at right now when it comes to upgrading? Because yeah, we're 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 we're, ta we're talking about like percentage points. We're, it's like feel good percentage points too. It's not like this game's For unplayable or this thing is undoable. It's like it's taken a little long. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, like thirty seven hundred X is pretty good for what i do with it. <laughs> I, I mean, be between the NVMe drive, the thirty two gigs of RAM. The 1080 Ti, right? Like, mm -hmm. CPU is not really a bottleneck here. <laughs> no, my CPU is like definitely not. Well, my CPU is a bottleneck for gaming, but for games, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's not what this box is meant to do. I mean, I mean, like, hell, the single the single core performance on the on the 6700K is still competitive with like uh, with Ryzen, so. Like, again, mm -hmm. I don't need a new computer. It's just been like five years. Is that itch? Spe speaking of which, next episode's 400. We're, get we're, we're getting close yep. to the magic number. 404. We're, get we're, t we're getting a week off. <laughs> <laughs> we still recorded the show. It just never comes out. <laughs> yeah. We don't, oh. we, don't, we don't stream. That's what Just we like, do. No, it, no, it's, no, no. It's no, a no. lost episode. No, no, no we, we straight up fucking pre record it and I'll live stream it. I'll hook up, like, uh, let me see if I, because I have analog inputs and see if I find a VHS camcorder. <laughs> and I'll aim that at black that and white TV. <laughs> <laughs> lo, lo fi game cast. Oh, fuck yeah. bit more in a month. I thought you had like 20 computers, Trader. I've only seen the three. Oh. Oh, three. I thought it... Uh, two. Four. It was like... Four, actually. His... It, I mean, five if you count the Pine Book, which I don't. Because that's like the first gen Pine Book. Oh. Yeah. I gotta give... um. So, I built... Uh, finally got around to building custom kernels for the Optiplexes. Mm-hmm. Here's a pro tip, man. If you're using RT kernels that ship with uh, Debian, their timer's at like 400 hertz, dude. I'm like, what the f Whoever is listening, maybe you're out there. Why are you doing that? Is it a practical joke? Set it to 1K. 10,000. Um, it takes a minute to build it on um, quad-core. I know you guys don't normally build kernels, but... I've... I mean, last last time I was seriously built, building kernels, it was on a one gigahertz ARM CPU. So yeah, well <laughs> that, that 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 was a, that was a set it, get up, get lunch, do something else, come back and check to see if it has crashed. That would kind of be like that. I mean, building it on the nineteen twenty X is start it with an NV, you're doing an NV, uh, NVMe partition. Check your email, and it'll fart it up. It's done. Um, this probably took like 45 minutes. Then, uh, Freyr, you know, our good buddy. Mr. Olufsen. Yeah. He hit me on Twitter. He's like, why did you build it? And I thought about this. I was like, God damn it. I could have just built it on the fucking Threadripper and just did the Intel <laughs> CPU. I was like, why did I think about that? Because <laughs> you never think to cross-compile shit. No, it's not even really cross-compiling, is it? I mean, it's all x86. Oh. I'm just adding the optimizations for the Intel shit. When it... I guess. Yeah. I think that would have been a lot quicker. Well, so if 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 you do if you do like uh, the GCC options of like 03 or whatever, mm -hmm. like what's the variable to specify which optimizations to use? Because I think it just like pulls your system and figures out what you're running it on. Uh, I have not done x86 x86. Uh, I know um, Target Solaris for um, SV4. If you're cross compiling on x86 to uh, risk. Spark. Which, yep. Saber 2. Spark. That's a that's a pro tip right there, kids. Do not try to compile shit on Spark, man. I mean, you can. Uh, that if McDonald's you hate yourself. drink cup there, Sandy. <laughs> is that what that is? I thought it was a yep. flashlight. 
I mean, you could maybe use it as one. Mm. Eh, fill it uh. with enough jelly. <laughs> What, like strawberry? Mm hmm. Or like, or like an orange marmalade? With a seeds? Well, yeah. whatever scent you're uh, particular to. Listen, <laughs> I didn't buy this bottle of yellow jackets for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, just dump a bottle of, or a jar of smuckers in your flashlight and have that. Now you do that. Pour a little uh, yeast in there, a little bit of flour. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, you get what you got. Cum muffins, cum scones. <laughs> speaking speaking of, go to vote.linuxgamecast.com. Vote on some freaking show titles before we get into the hate mail. Let's see it's too actually, stupid to. Act strap. Speaking of baking, um, Nori made some unwitting shortbread today. Speaking of bacon, that's what I'm going to be doing in a little bit. Bacon. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make some bacon. Right. Pancakes? Nah, I don't have pancake stuff here. No. I probably should get like some flour though. I didn't. I forgot to check. I was, I was so like ah. There's none of that I find this guy, like yeah. I, I I've noticed that. I didn't think to go look on the flour aisle because I was like yeah. oh, finally a wiped out like toiletries aisle. It's like yes, I finally saw it in real. Then I just lost. I, I wasn't even there for anything. I was just gawking. I was like. I still have like half a sack of rice left, so I'm good. <laughs> That's gonna last me a good while. Yeah. Rice is good when you're hungry and you want to so, eat a thousand or something. What type of shortbread? Uh, she was trying to make cookies, but uh, again, there's was she no trying flour to make cookies anywhere. and fucked up and made bread. Well, shortbread's made a type of cookie. Bread. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's, it's a very particular. Like, it's butter. It's butter you cookies. See, it's like bread, bread. Uh, I, I cut it out round. Now it's a cookie. See. <laughs> well, I mean, but, that, yeah, that's, no. That's uh, she it, was just trying to make is. regular uh, cookies, but since there is no flour, and the only thing the Tesco's had was corn flour, she made it with corn flour, and unwittingly, it became shortbread. It, it's exactly um, like really. It's not overly sweet. It's actually just a decent amount of sweetness to it. And they immediately melt as soon as you bite into them. It's like, mmm. That was so now I'm, good. Now I'm just That's hungry for cornbread. Really good. <laughs> I can fuck up some cornbread right now. Jalapeno cornbread. Oh, that'd be so good. Oh, Goddamn. fuck. Mmm. That'd be delicious. Fuck. Yeah. I haven't had bread in like two years, man. I miss it. <laughs> <laughs> It's worth it. Uh, I don't know, man. I like bread too much. Yeah, it's it, it's. It depends on the bread. Like I'm used to it uh, now, but yeah, bread roll, baguette, sure. A, a nice Anything challah else, or a brioche, yeah. or um, like a sourdough. Sourdough's nice. Isn't that like First, a thing? A lot of people are talking about doing like sourdough lately. Yeah, because uh, people are like getting sourdough starters because it's relatively easy to make. They do realize that that just keeps going, right? Yeah. Okay. You gotta keep, you gotta keep making sourdough. <laughs> that's that's the cost. I, I just feel bad for like plumbing. People like flush it, try to get rid of it. <laughs> you get rid of it, and like. This oh. is sourdough. It's outside. It wants me. Oh, dude, no. it's 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 like the 2021 remake of the Blob, except mm -hmm. it's just sourdough. It is. I wonder if you can make sourdough cookies. You probably could. Uh, sourdough pizza is pretty good. That sounds like it would work. Sourdough yeah. pizza is pretty good. Yeah. Like if you do like sourdough <laughs> garlic pizza. Oh, Ooh, fuck. Oh. Now, God damn it. Now, now I'm hungry. Mm. Fuck. Let's let's do the hate mail before <laughs> I, I just remembered I bought garlic like a month ago. Fuck. Um, hmm. <laughs> I guess we'll be finding that out later. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the, you know, the, when you're sharing your kitchen with someone, people come in and is like, why does this place smell like garlic? Why are you wrong? It should smell yeah. like garlic all the time. Garlic and onions. Uh, all oh. right. What's a pepperami? <laughs> pepperami? Pepperami. <laughs> it's it's Rami Malek from Mr. Robot, except he's made out of peppers. Is it single? <laughs> I don't know. Larry makes it's sourdough. It's pastrami yeah. and pepperoni. Half it's salami, pepperoni. half pepperoni. <laughs> oh, leftovers. Got it. Um, I don't know. Half salami. It's just, I don't know. 
Oh, salami. Alright. I, I would with pastrami on that one, but okay. <laughs> Palami. <laughs> I, I mean, like, they're, they're both sausages, right? No, man. I'd... Sandy, we've been over this. Hot dogs made of chicken knees. I mean, the chicken dogs are. Possibly. Uh, turkey sausages that are also pretty good. Oh, I made my own soup stock the other day. I was it's frozen right now. All right. I, Go ahead, Mir. Might as well. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yes. Uh, well, now, now you should, you should, you should give Mir Nori's Discord so that he can just accost her constantly, mm -hmm. randomly for no reason. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Nori knows how to use a block button. I was about to say. I mean, you'll find the you'll find out where the mute button is. And you're like, oh, there it is. You don't block. You mute. Then they don't know. You ever like yeah. go back? I see it sometimes in the show notes because yeah, if I like link to a tweet, especially when I made, I'm like, oh look, those fuckers are still going at me. And people are just like randomly fucking at reply you with like random bullshit. Oh yeah, and you're like, uh, I'm tired of you get getting notifications. It's like herp herp herp. I'm like, nope, it's gone. <laughs> but they're still going. <laughs> All right, let's get the hate mail going. Ah, oh, cylindrical sucks. meat. I'm so hungry now. <laughs> Fuck. Mm. I want, I want, I want that jalapeno cornbread. That, that sounds, sounds amazing, good, doesn't it? Oh, it fuck. <laughs> that's that's the dangerous thing about it's cornbread. So easy to make too. Yeah. I mean, you, you could be halfway done with your pan and be like, I'm just gonna make another pan right quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that that first one is not going to survive out of the oven. We need the second pan. So you I get done with that, dude. <laughs> Curled up in the corner of the kitchen, covered in cornbread pieces and shame. That'll be awesome. It's like, <laughs> do, do, do what you want. I've already won. I want right. more. <laughs> All right. Click. Let's do it. Yeah, sriracha doesn't do me any good. Evan Sriracha will fuck up an entire bottle of Sriracha. Just. That gone. that goes very quickly. No, it's yeah. gone. It's pointless. I buy like this um, straight out of Mexico um, hot sauce, and it, it's reasonably, but it's large enough to where I don't like try to challenge use it. Like I'm just mm -hmm. right. Would would you, would you like some <clears throat> food with that hot sauce? Yeah, usually not. Uh, mm. Three, two. And if you'd like to put a bit of a bow on that a hot bow episode of a uh, Linux game cast that you just witnessed, uh, you can put some hot sauce on it. It might taste a little bit better or not, but Hey, you can let us know about your opinions on the kinds of sauces that are hot or maybe not by going to LinuxGameCast.com, hitting the contact button, filling out the form, make sure LGC weekly is the show that you're sending your bit of hate mail to. Otherwise, you might end up being featured on the Wednesday show, what uh, Ven, Jill, and myself do on Wednesday. So, if there's a connection careful. there, I can sniff it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll figure you like out one day, Mateus. Smells like jalapeno <laughs> cornbread, man. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's Jordan's like <laughs> looking on my, my brain is like, Can I get this? My brain is shutting down. I just want food. <laughs> Coming up first this week from John P. It's 100% Linux. Uh, this was actually uh, posed to me on Twitter, to which I was like, hey, man, this is a good question I want to share with friends and family in the community. He writes, hey, since I'm 100% Linux on all of my computers, if I run Steam Windows games via Proton, does that count as selling out to Windows? Or does it count as expanding my Linux options? Question mark. I'm only looking at, quote, free, unquote, games. No money used. I'm kind of confuzzled. Hmm. Now, I wrote back to uh, share my piece. I want uh, your feedback on this as well. Is for me, you know, th there's no Linux test, really. You know, no one's going to be like, ah, no, we got the results back, man. You're only 68% <laughs> Linux. Get out of here. Put a, Get the blindfold on him. No, I, Old I, yellow. I, I, um. <laughs> I, I like the idea of like someone test your computer. I'm sorry, sir. You have Windows. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, please, it can't be. Your desktop has Linux. Spread to your mobile. Um, no, man. Um, 
Proton's a tool. Linux is a tool. Linux is an operating system. Linux, all operating systems, strangely, uh, have like their own little cults and religions and around them, you know, the Mac cult of Mac and there's the Linux zealots and yeah, right. Exactly. It's not a cult. Well, it's still a cult. It's 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 not a cult for like 60, uh, 67% of the show. It's not a cult. It's It's not a cult. It's, it's more of a secret society. (laughs) There we go. Shh. (laughs) But this is the way I look at it, man. That's cool. I mean, if you want to play more games and Proton lets you play more games, you enjoy that. Um, I don't think anyone's going to take the piss on you, right? You got to pay no, it's, it, it's, it's the same thing about like using emulators and stuff, right? Like mm-hmm. no one's going to give you guff for playing old Super Nintendo games on any sort of operating system, right? Um, I mean, if you if you if you subscribe to the lot of heretic purchases, there are already so many loopholes. You can just wait for games to go on sale in bundles and whatnot. And uh, uh, one of the already established loopholes is if you have a bl- backlog of nope, nope. games already. Uh, I got the loophole, bitches. <laughs> you're, you're, a, you're a loophole. Oh, full Your of loops. Your mom's a loophole. Hey, man, you said you weren't going to bring that up. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome. Shut up, David Carradine. <laughs> Dude, uh, Humble Monthly. That went from I had no interest in that whatsoever. You know, for like, I, 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 sorry, I love you, Matthew. You're great. Uh, your favorite little crumpet. But I just don't, I'm not going to run another operating system. That's too much work for me these days. But when Proton rolled out, I just have a play button. Like, yeah, all right. Send me some games every month. There might be one or two I want to play around with. Especially, you know, I have an excuse of like, there'll be something to play on Fridays as we play Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Uh, <laughs> it's my excuse. So go to hell. Plus, when did that come out? 2003? Four? <laughs> we need to figure out. Has a native Linux version. We need to figure out how to get some of the high res texture packs on working on that. I was looking at oh, that yeah. the other. Oh, man. People have went crazy on that thing. Uh, but no, man. Play, play what you want. Me personally, you know, I, I roll with that heretic purchase system, man. I mean, I try not to give money to developers that don't support Linux, not directly anyway. Yep. <laughs> That's a big one. It, it's like the, if the developer is or has shown any kind of uh, like anti Linux behavior, Bethesda, uh, we probably shouldn't be throwing money at them because as linux users you kind of don't want to reward that behavior mind mind you i will freely admit to spending hundreds of dollars on nintendo games because well, nintendo's gonna you didn't buy a switch yeah the switch runs <laughs> linux man so it runs B- oh, it runs bsd it runs linux, BSD, not BSD, but yeah, close enough <laughs> i think the switch does run straight linux no it runs straight bsd all right, they, they they got they got Linux running on it because ah. it's a Tegra tablet because you know, yeah. What, what was they it? Also the got Wii that ran Android Linux? running. On it. <laughs> I, th- I think I think it was the Wii U that was running Linux. One of the two. We'll be on Google later if you're looking for us. Uh, right, <laughs> Pedro. What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> uh, I think it's BSD, but we should probably move on with uh, the hate mail and uh, yeah. the request. One yeah, of you, our most what, recent um, we, we, we We fucked up. We fucked up because in the shilling segment, we had two new Patreons mm-hmm. that we had to talk about. Mm-hmm. We didn't mention it. No, LibreQuest and Quiz. And quiz. LibreQuest Qu- and Chris. Chris. Quiz? Chris quiz. and Chris oh, is clutch. Quiz. I'm hunting webbits. Quiz. It's Chris. Uh, in any case, <laughs> uh, LibreQuest is actually asking uh, or thanking us i suppose because uh, we made some hardware recommendations hey everyone at lgc i just wanted to let you know that i've decided to purchase the rx 5700 xt with a ryzen 5 1600 cpu you didn't get the af that was a big one uh my gpu's pump had a crack and was no longer usable so i was asking you all what a good replacement would be you made it clear that i would need a new kernel to run the newer amd gpus yes after much consideration and budget upgrade searching, I decided on this pair. Thank you for the in- or thanks for the insight and in helping me decide how to go about replacing my current setup, which was uh, R9 Fury X and the 2200G overclocked. So 
Okay, no, that, that is most certainly an upgrade, because you're getting an extra two cores at least, but you didn't go with the AF. The Ryzen 5 1600 AF is, it's basically a 2600, which is really nice. What's the issue with the uh, 5 1600 though? I mean, what are you going to run into that, that can't run? Uh, it's not about not being able to There's run. Your it's answer. about being You're able welcome. to run. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, like the performance delta between like Zen and Zen and the second gen Ryzen, pretty minor. It was like it, it was mostly TDP improvements. Sixteen um, percent IPC improvements. Ish. But, yeah, but ish. ish. <laughs> I mean, it, it genuinely depends. I mean, because I have a first gen, uh, the Threadripper's first gen Ryzen, mm -hmm. and it uh, to give you an idea of the difference is it genuinely trades blows with the 2700X in single thread IPC. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah. not much of a difference. I, I mean, I gotta, I gotta say good, good on you for going with the open sauce wombo combo. Mm -hmm. Um, yep. so yeah, I mean, yeah, in, enjoy the 5700 XT. Let us know how it runs. If hey man, issues. I'm impressed. Somebody held onto a, well, bought a, the furry that, yeah, the furry axe. You don't see a lot of people mm. who bought one of those. <laughs> Especially it, it, it's for the people nano who... furry. I, I kind of want one of those, man. <laughs> Just like that. That'd be fun yeah. to have. I mean, I mean, so, some people have tiny cases. I don't know. Mm. Up next, we got uh, Strider. Mathieu sent us some hate oh, mail. Shit. And he said, like a champ. Name a game that used to run like a champ, but no longer does. And I'll up my Patreon by a dollar. I want to say, I want to say Vendetta Curse of the Ravens Cry. Let me tell you, that never ran like anything. That ever, still right? runs yeah. uh, as yeah, well as it ever did. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it's impervious to new CPUs and new GPUs. It can't be asked. Uh, th this is something that popped up in Mastodon. I was like, all right, I'll take the Pepsi challenge on this. So I uh, went out with this and uh, what was it? Sacred Gold? Sacred Gold is like, it uh, was my go-to. I, 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 dropped, that I, bomb. On I dropped that bomb in Mastodon and he's like, well, can't that be run just fine with wine? Uh, no, because as it turns out, there are a lot of textures that don't respect the Z levels, and the game is basically broken if you try to run it with wine. Well, here's the thing. You know, I wrote back and was like, I, I wasn't aware wine could run Linux ex executables. It's like, no, no, no. You see, uh, what I <laughs> oh. meant, what I meant is not what, not what I said. Quit, quit trying to judge me. By that now, was the first Rook. scoot now, of the yeah. goalposts. Now, 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 you say that. <laughs> But have they gotten the WSL <laughs> working under Wine so that you can run Windows uh, Linux apps in your Windows apps under Linux? Uh, the, the, the container for that better be called Yo Dogs. Um, uh, dude, <laughs> I, I, I went ahead and dropped the bomb because this, this, this conversation moved over to Discord. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think the one good example of that, thanks Gary, is Rust because of EAC. Rust. Mm -hmm. And you can keep your dollar. Russ it, now straight up doesn't run. <laughs> no. womp, womp. Jordan, can do, do you have any uh, top contenders for that? I can't. None. I, I I thought about it for a minute. None that I can really think of. But mm. like most most of the games I play aren't like graphical juggernauts and run pretty consistently. So, well, I guess that's going to do it. Uh, nothing left to do. But maybe maybe we can pull the train in without it derailing again, right? No. It's both promises Cue the there, music. Mr. Stone. <laughs> you can always find us 8.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time where we go live on twitch.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. Watch us after the fact. Uh, download the podcast. I think we have a YouTube channel. You can watch a video there uh, where we're doing the things and the video stuffs because video. That's kind of brilliant. Want to get a hold of me? I'm just uh, at Vin Stone on Twitter or just at Vin at mast.lytixgamecast.com. Hit me there. I will usually say hello back, just not that nice. I'm Jordan Swung. I don't run as fast as I used to under Linux, and you can find me slowly running into a wall, colliding into it at uh, The Burning Fool on Twitter or at Frojo on mast.lytixgamecast.com. Splat. The fucking Stadia still doesn't work. Um... Stop playing Hi, Destiny! Destiny. <laughs> and you can find me at Unaccounted4 on Twitter. And that's it. That that That's where you can find me. The, I, or, or, I, what, I am what, technically what, on Mastodon, but I don't fucking go what, there. What, what, what's, so, what's your Stadia handle if we want to play Destiny with you? Unaccounted4. 
All right, Adam, Adam on Stadia. Do it. It, it is. I, I, here's the one thing I was impressed about. We we were only in an RTC W coupe for like 20 seconds, and Pedro already had his like fucked up backwards high lit. Like, hey, look, I'm an edgy 12 year old. It was unaccounted in red and uh, the number four yep, in blue. Yep. Like this goddamn mouse. Yep. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> That's exactly what I was trying to get across. I mean, I'm, I mean edgy 14 year olds are our target demographic, right? <laughs> they're the they're the ones whose parents have credit cards, right? <laughs> So the that pictures. may or may not have been a bit of a borrow from the old um, Quake 3 days, but... <laughs> Stand the fires, <laughs> beautiful people. We'll see you send, next week. Send You'll us your parents' stop. credit card. Bye. <laughs> Just pictures. We don't need the whole thing. Can I tie in a... Yes, you can. <laughs> you can tie in a tsunami? <laughs> I mean, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> Sinami. It it might be, um, you know, a little challenging, but you can. <laughs> All right. Um, boop. 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 All right. Tsunami is easy to spell. Tsunami. And I only say that because Tsunami. it's such a fucked up spelled word. But she's like, really? That's so dumb. You memorized it. You're like, yeah, see, right. uh, but it's if that it, in it, Worcestershire it, it, and uh, Leicestershire and. <laughs> oh, dude, 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 pretty much all of North England. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 this, is, this is how I spell tsunami, though. Oh, I get it. Yep. Didn't give me cancer, but still pretty bad. <laughs> yep. Okay. Nani! Oh, dude. Uh, spring sale, wait until the sale. Man, there's nothing. See, there you go, burning a heretic purchase, man. Uh... Is yeah, code Vein. I did get the notifications like, oh, Code Vein is 40% off. Yeah, but it's only that, 40% yeah, off. That, I was right there with your sister. I was like, man, uh, no. You, you, give me like Make that 60% uh, yeah, off. 75 is where yeah. I was going with that. I was like, maybe? <laughs> maybe. That's not even a yoink. Now, I bought Nier. Of course, hell, I bought <laughs> hundred and something dollars worth of Nier for everyone. Um, yes. <laughs> But it was 70 or 80. I mean, it was like 20 bucks. And like, you know what? It's been two years. All right. Plus, it was on the Steam White list and we had to test. I mean, it was a business expense. Yeah. Plus, like, you know, I would say Nier is of a quality that I would pay like 30 bucks for it. It's one of those things if I had paid the iron price for it. Uh, I, I got. I would have gotten 60 out of just because... In order yeah, you to get beat your the game, yeah, you have to play it three oh, yeah. times to beat it. And it's compelling enough to where you go through it, because you go through three different things without spoiling oh, yeah. it. Like, yeah. <laughs> that are very different. You're like, oh, oh, it's got a good fucking story. Yep. Nani. <laughs> I mean, Nani. Good, good, good luck waiting for like five years, Sandy. Oh, there was a beta update. Oh, wait, that's Final Fantasy XII? I, that was on the PS2. Out. You can get it for free. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could hit up a pawn shop. You could probably find it. Mm, do, do, really? Do you see, like, is that a thing, Canadia? There's still, uh... I Games dude, I loaded it up because nowadays that's like okay, okay. Ad admittedly, the last time I did it was like in two thousand and nine, but like I loaded up on PS two games for like thirty bucks. I got like a dozen or so of them. Mm -hmm. But you're 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 right. I don't know. I don't know at this point in twenty twenty. Eleven Michael, years later, um, Bayonetta is worth like five bucks when it goes on sale. Like three times a year. Yeah, it goes on sale a lot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I bought um, that bundle that came with uh, Devil May Cry 4, and it's been staring at me, and I still haven't started it up. <laughs> Devil May Cry 4, that was fun. I, I guess maybe because I don't treat DMC as a religion, I really didn't know anything about it, never played any of the originals. I played the first, my experience was the DMC, like the Edge Overlord mm -hmm. remake version. I was like, that's a perfectly fine, fun game if you just want to have like seven or eight hours of fucking things up. And I'm like, that's what I look for in a spectacle brawler. It delivered, has a story Mo with it. To be fair, most everyone was um, just complaining about the appearance of Dante having changed from like the slightly longer hair, wide hair thing. Did you see the original? The short hair dude i went back and watched the documentary on <laughs> devil may cry because I was like what is this shit all about because then i played through it I was like what's there to hate i did see the original concept art and the original trailer they did where he was like smoking a cigarette he was like hyper emo like mm -hmm. oh, can't be asked to do it that, uh, okay I, I could see that rage to that so they like de-emote him a bit yeah, just they just made him the typical anime badass. Hmm. But then they went back and they went full on uh, teenage uh, angst for DMC. So people weren't terribly happy about that because there were a lot of people that were secretly uh, hoping that uh, Dante would come to them at night and bum them. Uh, you know, you know, you know. What I think it's more it's more along the lines of like. Dante and the original Devil May Cry is what like the Edge Lord teenagers wanted to be, and the new and what, what was the new guy uh, Nero or whoever I forget I forget Nero, what it was but yeah, he, yeah but he was <laughs> Nero Nero is the guy who they actually looked like so mm -hmm. <laughs> they're like don't don't make me face my reality I want to be like an edgy teenager the like cool I was back in the day like Devil May Cry Five is you get to play with play as uh, what's his name from Star Wars um. Darth Vader? No, no. Um, damn it. Emperor Palpatine? Nine. Uh, no. Uh, Bib Fortuna? Solo's son. Oh, Ben. Ben, ben Kenobi? Yeah. <laughs> Not Ben Kenobi, Ben Skywalker. Sure. Even, even, even though, like, his dad left the family and his mother is like a powerful I, politician. No, listen, man, I am not a Star mm -hmm. Trek nerd. I don't know those things. Listen, man, you gotta watch more Battlestar Galactica. Gate. It's the only way to know. Voyager. Battlestar Gate Galactica. Voyager. Yeah, Voyager. <laughs> 1999. The, the, the next generation. <laughs> the legend continues. Oh, dude, did you watch Kung Fu? The legend continues. Kung Fu. I've seen all the parody. Wait, oh, you mean the TV series? The TV series, yeah. I, I definitely have it seen was, an episode or two of that, yes. Yeah, it was it was the same vintage as, like, Highlander, the TV yeah, series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Metal Gear, I would play Metal Gear Rising, but it's got a bug with the D9VK. Are you watching, Josh? Um, to where if you try to full screen it, it does that 1080p left side, upper left hand quarter window. Oh, with everything shit. Oh. today, but yeah, that thing. There's no way around it. We're going to kick over into the after shows, and so if you want to hop on Discord and come say hi, you're welcome to. And while you do that, I'm gonna go eat a banana before I pass out. <laughs> now that, that sounds impressive, but he was eating when we started the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's the potassium deprivation. <laughs> yes, man. That boy's addicted. <laughs> All the potassium. <laughs> um, I got five chips. Hello, hello. Hello, Jill. Hello. I can hear a Jill. Mm. I can hear a Pedro. Pedro. Hello. <laughs> There's Scott. <laughs> Scott couldn't let the hello train pull out of the station. <laughs> so I just bought Bur Doom Eternal. Are you server muted, Rohit? Yes, he is. <laughs> yeah, you were. Do you remember why you were server <laughs> muted, Rohit? <laughs> uh oh. 
You're no longer a server muted, Rohit. Nope. You just need to unmute yourself. <laughs> that was, uh, anytime anyone joins the after show with their audio blown out and it sounds like they're attacking their microphone. Mm hmm. You get a server mute. It's not out of meanness, it's for the protection of people at home. <laughs> Protecting the eardrums of everyone. Pretty much. It was, you weren't being too bad. I think it was your brother screaming in the background. Now that it's coming back to me. <laughs> I remember something about <laughs> someone screaming in the background. It's like, nope, we're it's having like, none I've of that. I've had enough of that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, memories. The um, gray matter seems to be turning now. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, it might happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't do it out of spite. I'd do something like that to, like, Matthew or something, but... <laughs> That's just random. Mm. Oh, okay. So oh, I did buy something uh, just because oh, I need a Bluetooth headset. I bought need. Sony ones. Need. Oh, those are nice, Pedro. You don't it's have like with, okay, uh, it's Sony Bluetooth headset. Rohit. Rohit, really? Oh, can you hear me now? We can also hear ourselves. Okay, thanks. <laughs> to, uh, put that on your. Uh, there we go. Yeah. And we're back. <laughs> yeah. Server your server muted again. Never mind. Yep. Oh. <laughs> 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 hey, Major, you don't have issues with uh, Bluetooth connectivity. Weird dropout. Uh, no, uh, actually, it was Ven who suggested a really neat fix for Bluetooth connectivity issues. Put it on a, a little extension. And oh, that thing. Yeah. Like, right up against the wall, as Stick far away wall. from any um, electrical equipment as possible. And it goes everywhere. Yes, yeah, it gets some altitude oh, on it. Oh, nice. I need oh, to try yeah, that. Yep. Fine. USB extension code, man, that's an old... I mean, if you need headsets... Remember when we used to have to, like, talk to people? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a good way. No, I don't know when we need to talk to people. We could be like Yeah, no. With uh, these, uh, they were, like, 30 pounds. Uh, they're usually, like, 50. So they were on sale, which mm -hmm. is nice. And they... Uh, again, it's headsets and they're clearly trying to compensate for uh, headsets not having great base mm. uh the the base on this one is a little too high for my liking but it doesn't sound tinny so good on them for that well, you're gonna get the um oh, yeah. they're gonna be eq'd for that i mean it's a 2dp audio which hey, it's gonna sound yep. fine fine now I am. I have some good Sony ones. Those uh, AKGs, those reference monitors. I, man, I just like you know what? I'll pay an extra fifty bucks so I don't have to wear something in my head that looks like the um, other ones. But yeah, yeah, like these the, these headphones. How many? Like two years I've had these. These are the AKG uh, K sixes. Jordan just realized I had them tonight in the pre-show. <laughs> <laughs> it was the little yellow outline around the uh, cable bit. Yeah, <laughs> the gold. I mean, yeah. that. that... <laughs> I don't like the gold. Um, yeah, big goldy. I bought like Nori the... um, for her birthday three years ago or four years ago. A pair of not like the high end AKGs, but the mid-range AKGs? You, you can get the, uh, well, <laughs> mid-range AKGs are about 260. Okay, then the low-end AKG. <laughs> this, this is the lower end, and they're about 70, 65, 70 bucks. Yeah. They, they, that, well, that what was, you're, talk, uh, what that, you're talking about is consumer AKGs. Yes. Yes, they make the, those. That's the, the ones, okay. 60-something I say this because we're on the stream. Mm, don't get the I, people want to buy studio they're like oh it's studio it sounds better if you listen to music in these they sound atrocious music does not mm -hmm. sound these are for voice yeah they're reference unless it has a multi-mix mode 
don't tango with it. Buy something that's EQ'd for bass or music and stuff like that. You have a much better... Unless you're an audiophile, then there's no reasoning with you. Yeah, no. Then you just buy <laughs> Sennheisers anyway because Sennheiser uh, makes you some good are headphones. an asshole. <laughs> Sennheiser, I mean, for like, if I was just listening to like pre-recorded music and games, I'd get some Sennheisers because you can get a decent pair for about 200 bucks. <laughs> 200 bucks is yeah, cheap no, for headphones. The, the most expensive headset, uh, well, headphones I ever bought was one of those AKGs for Nori, and they were like 70 euros, 69 something. Mm -hmm. And yeah, no, the, she used those until they were falling apart. <laughs> See, for the price, those are really good. And that's the K701s. The only thing I don't like about those is they don't have the mini XLR like these do for the cable. But see, look. Uh, so yeah, these are the ones I have right here. 67 bucks. The Bear Dynamics, those aren't bad. Uh, but yeah, there's like the K702s. That's what I would call like the low end for the studio reference. But yeah, these are the budget ones. The one I have, the K240s. I mean, I'm... My, my hearing is probably, like, damaged enough that no matter what headphones, I'm not going to hear the entire spectrum. Mm. Uh, you wouldn't hear it with these either. These are... Yeah. But, like, these, these $20 headsets from Monoprice, mm -hmm. they work fine. Dude, 99% of the stuff I listen to either comes directly out of, like, the speakers on a tablet, depending on which one it is, mm. or my little Amazon Echo thing. Mm. Not using where... the Sonos anymore? Rarely. Rarely. I don't know, man. It's just like more hassle than... Yeah, now that I got my little Oud device, yep. I'm, going, I'm just going somewhere. I just take my little echo, stick it down. Mm -hmm. And then I can have two different things, and I still will use it in like conjunction. If I'm listening to something like a sports ball game, which I do, yeah, I'll have that going through the entire house because then I'm doing other stuff and I don't have to worry about it. Or if I need to listen to two things, because you know how that happens. Sometimes mm -hmm. you got to listen to more than one thing at a time. <laughs> These um, Corsair HS50s, I think they are. Mm -hmm. They're good enough to the point where I'm like, huh, I can actually listen to everything on these and it doesn't sound extra bassy when I'm listening to music it actually has a pretty good range uh, for voice it's fine it's absolutely fine um, to the point where the ear pads starting to come apart from you know wearing them all the time that I just went to Corsair's website it's like oh you're selling replacement ear pads for five pounds all right I'm okay. Okay, I'm glad they're five dollars. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna ask, like, because Cor Corsair, they're they're a pretty solid brand as far as PC parts go, but they got sometimes they got a little bit of markup for the privilege. Well, Corsair is now in the business of buying shit from other companies, putting Corsair logos on it. Mm -hmm. Corsair right. doesn't, doesn't make headsets. No. Corsair doesn't make They don't make, make headsets, they chairs. don't make RAM, they don't make... <laughs> right, right. They, they, they put the bunch Corsair of stuff. thing on it. I, I, I do like the Corsair Obsidian cases, though. Those are those are quite nice. Is that what we have? Yeah. Okay. The, I have uh, the, the Corsair 270? 270R. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, I, I actually, actually, one I really like is uh, Fractal. They do, they do really nice, just like bare bones cases. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this um, one just popped out because I was looking for something big with uh, 140 fans on it, so it would be quiet-ish. And, um, yeah, that's, uh, that popped up in my search, and I'm like, yeah, it wasn't terribly expensive. I got it yeah. used I, for, I, like, 120 bucks. I mean, this this is going to sound the way it sounds, but I was basically just looking something for big, black, and hollow. Mm -hmm. So... Can I like your heart? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this uh this 270 r uh it usually retails for like 60 70 pounds mm -hmm. i got it for 30 
off of Amazon warehouse because apparently it had a significant uh, bit of damage to the front. Mm. And as I got it, I opened the box and it's like, oh, someone used a knife and they jammed it in there and slid it across the front of the thing because it had a pretty big gash. <laughs> I'm always well, curious pa pa Pedro, about like the... Uh, I, I, I gotta say, at least it wasn't a brick. This is true. Yeah. <laughs> at least you opened it up and the intended object was inside, however damaged. I, I no, still no, no, break that, that story out to people every now and then. Well, I've never bought, you know, like when you're looking, because pretty much everything in this studio, except for this monitor, I had to pay full price for a fucking monitor. Only because it matched, too. I, I am not that person, but damn it. So, but sometimes you are. You had to be. Sometimes you're forced into a situation where you're just fucked. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> um, no, when you're getting stuff like from Amazon Warehouse and you see it, it's like, oh, no, it's fine. May not come in original. But then they get like the other grade. Of, it's effectively just gnarly. It's like this thing's jacked up, but it technically still works. I haven't ordered anything with that description yet. <laughs> I don't really care what it looks like. Yeah, I don't know. I usually just buy shit new because, I mean, you know, theoretically, the thing should be in the box. But sometimes it isn't. Sometimes it's yes, mm -hmm. a cinder block. And recycling. <laughs> it weighs about the same. Mr. Right, like... <laughs> I, I love, Mr. Alert, I love your sage advice. <laughs> Do people. <laughs> I mean, doing people is better than alternative. Fair. Do, do people... <laughs> People, that should be a people, shirt. We need that. Do, do people. Do, 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 do. It, it, it just says on the front in big block letters. Do people. Mm -hmm. On the back. Like, so on, the back on the back, it's a sheep. No, dude, no, it no. says, if you can read this, do people. <laughs> no, uh, on, on, on the back of it, it's just the words people do. Mm -hmm. Fair. Actually, that's good. That's a good one, too. Yeah, that's a good one. And Mir, yeah, ever since the whole quarantine thing started, I... I haven't shaved. <laughs> I uh, shaved recently because I was getting like pretty scruffy neck beard and I'm like, this feels gross. I gotta get rid of it. I don't think I've shaved in nearly a year. The <laughs> I shaved because I cut the side of my face off because I have, I've been trying to use the uh, safety razor. Mm. Oh, You're yeah. the Joker? And uh, I'm getting, well, it's the newfangled thing the kids are using, you know, and I didn't feel like fucking slicing half my neck off, so I just broke up my straight razor, and it had been a while since I'd used a straight razor, and uh, just just right here, just like, Kink! and I was like, oh, that's, ble oh, that's bleeding a lot. All right, hang on. So you didn't feel like <laughs> cutting your neck off, so you used a straight razor. Scott, I, I've, been using a, I've been using a straight razor for 20 years, man. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sandy, Sand that's man. an epic fucking yeah. beer right there. <laughs> yeah, that's nice, Sandy. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, I actually wanted to use a straight razor for a long time, but just never got around San to it. San Sandy I is one of those fuckers who can, like, grow a full beard, and I hate him for it. But that's not, like, yeah. the whole thing, man. I mean, like, replaceable blades and stuff like that. I, I got the safety razor because I wanted to see, like, if I could get used to using one of those. Um, that straight razor I bought, speaking of shit, I got off eBay, and that thing, that straight razor is probably 60 years old, and it will... Outlive me, man. Do you, do you, got a nice you hone leather strap? it and sharpen it well? Yeah, I hone it. Um, yeah, I got a leather strap to hone it. Strap. Strap it. I mean, if you take care of it, then it's going to be a while. I mean, I know that like barbers and stuff like that can keep replacing it, it but that's because it's a business expense at that point. It, oh. I, I mean, at the same time, it's a knife. Yeah. That, that If you keep <laughs> it sharp, it'll cut stuff. That's kind of how knives work. <laughs> well, even if you're getting disposable blades, man, razors, uh, hair doesn't dull, really dull uh, what it is. If you have a blow dryer, take a blow dryer to it after you get done shaving. The water is what dulls it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, honestly, I just go to, I go really. to Dorco because you can just buy like a box of 32 razors for like 10 bucks. And then I just don't care about it. Uh, uh, <laughs> Well, you can buy a box of um, safety razors for I think it's like a buck for a sixty of them. Right, like there there are there are options. Like, however you want to shave, 
I I wish I had like the full beard so I could just embrace the full AZ and like become a wizard. But I don't, Aww. so I can't. What, what's the best way to prevent um, non dull blades, Scott? To keep them under a pyramid? I mean, yeah, I have no idea. yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yeah. Keep poisoning them. You 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 could keep them in like slots in the walls, and then like if you hit a pressure plate on the floor, they'll like come out and cut you into pieces. That yeah. see, that's the problem. I remember seeing the movie where like they had the shaky room with the razor blades. And I was like, oh, that'd be fun to go through. See, I'm de- defective <laughs> like that, hundred percent. I I I'm I'm just reminded it's of like, that one scene that. from Galaxy Quest. There's like, oh, you have to go by the chompers. What the hell are the chompers? And it's just like these giant smashing fuck you blocks. <laughs> and it's like, why are these here? I don't know. They were in that episode that one time, so <laughs> yeah. they put it in. <laughs> uh. Galaxy Quest. I need to watch that movie again. That's so good. It is, it is like up. the second or what third best I... Star Trek movie. Psst. Yes. <laughs> oh, God, Mia, did you have to? It exploded. I mean... <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's worth it to shave my back because then, it, like, my back's already pretty itchy. Just so like, oh, sh- shaving off the hair would just make it itch more, and I'd go insane. Yeah, yeah, just go. All and Pedro, like, Pedro, oh. as my fellow co-host without back hair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what are your thoughts on to this? Say, I don't have any back <laughs> hair. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that I'm just the alpha male, you guys. <laughs> I'm proof of the existence of Sasquatch. like if yeah if, if like if like <laughs> silver if silverback gorillas are anything to go by uh, yeah I'm. <laughs> Do you have an opposable thumb and you like bananas? Got it. I, yeah. It's true. I love them. They're great. This guy. I like bananas with the cereal bowl. <laughs> well, listen, man. If he wasn't, oh, just eat He has to dedicate. If he didn't have to dedicate so much time to back hair shaving, he'd be able to cut them <laughs> and eat the cereal. But listen, man, he's trying to get. <laughs> Trying to just get through life, all right? Man, I, I don't want to shave my back hair. That'd be terrible. Just don't name your banana Pedro. Is he your friend? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he is now. <laughs> I don't name my bananas. I just eat them. They don't deserve names. Yeah, exactly. If you name them, then you won't want to eat them. Then they'll just go bad. I've just imagined Scott's desk and the smell. Of the- Scott, yeah, Scott makes this mistake often. I imagine he has like a fridge full of like avocados and like peppers Dare that he just refuses to eat. Like name that. Them. His name is Bill and Ted and like, Alan and Steve. Yeah, he, 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 he takes one out of well like, the produce bag. And well he like, brings said. it to the table. And is like, all right, time to cut you, cut you up, Billy. Oh no, <laughs> not Billy! I can't do that to you, Billy. I love you, Billy. I'm sorry, um, Jimmy. I'm going to have to chop your brother up. It is a bit depressing because he records all these, but he never releases the audio. <laughs> One day. One day. One day. They're all that, in the place locker. Leave that in your wheel of the um, thumb drive. <laughs> oh, what's this? What? The true crypt password's in, like, the uh, will or something, yeah. Do you, oh, do, no, you, no, you do, do your true crypt and all that fun, but, but have, like, a straight-up play <laughs> with your bananas. <laughs> oh no! It's it's just a dick. To be or not to be. Mm-hmm. Sorry, to peel or not to peel. <laughs> no, no. After after all that, it's just like straight up just a picture of dick butt. <laughs> like they go through all the effort to like track down the decryption key. It's like dick butt. You think people yeah. are gonna do that in like wills? They're just gonna like throw in little like ah, you have to read through all this. You know, you know what I want to do is I, I want to have because I have a safety deposit bag to them. Uh, just have like some, get a reasonable size gold bar. Let's say like, you know, seven, eight grand, you know, mm-hmm. some, have it gnarled, Go full 40 ounce. Have it one. gnarled up, man. I'm just going to pour some acid on it, chew it up a bit, have that in a box under some random ass GPS coordinates in South America. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You know, that would actually be funny just to like leave gold somewhere just for someone to find it, just to get old tra- old fashioned treasure hunt. Well, uh, yeah, they're, they're the, not going to be the, fucked there. There's, <laughs> the gold's going to be in the box. If they're smart, they take it and just leave it, but they won't. Yeah. The That's problem the with that, though, plot. is if someone else. It's the, it. it's the entire plot of it's a mad, 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 mad worlds. Like, what's yeah. that? 
some mm-hmm. someone dies and there's like a set of coordinates and a bunch of people are trying to race to it because they think there's a bunch of treasure there. Mm. Ooh, how do you get a bunch of people to? Hmm. So like rat race, you... but John Cleese is well, alive. Well, well, rat races are a remake of it's a mad, mad, bad, bad, mad world. So yeah, yeah. But John Cleese is alive. John John Cleese is alive. This is a sticking for, point with Scott. He was last here. time I checked. <laughs> for 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 now, I guess. Well, Scott, are you are you are you telling us something, or are you? Is it what you're not telling us? I'm telling you, he's alive. This is plausible deniability for the upcoming court case because maybe he's not. Oh, mm. he's saying it live right now. He's uh, like, he's totally alive, you guys. Yeah, he's on Twitch. <laughs> Twitch. Twitch plays John Cleese. Oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> They just give him just a bunch of silly well. walks and he has to do them. But he's like old, so it's like miserable and painful because he has arthritis. <laughs> What's something we can get a bunch oh, no, of people into at one time? Uh, gang beasts? That's like limited <laughs> to eight. Plus, no one really knows what they're fucking doing or not. That's kind yeah, of the point of gang yeah. beasts. <laughs> we could all That's just sit here and finish that and just have a conversation and get more out of it than having the conversation while doing whatever that is <laughs> bumping and well, grinding while you guys decide that i need to pee i'll be back how about shell shock um, we haven't done that we'll do that yeah, all right let's, yeah shell, some some smell sock yeah quick three arena we can do that like i i'm all for like jordan you brought I'm up something really last week to play but oh yeah uh, we, we can do like um og team fortress classic because like everyone fucking has that and it takes two seconds to download yeah we okay. can do that next week if it if it's so on a download? cd-rom like Oh, okay. So what's this week Wait, then? Foxy, how sure, sure. did you sure, not sure. get it with that, with the uh, Valve bundle that came with everything, all the Half-Life, everything, and it was like uh, a buck. I, re- I remember, so my, 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 my copy of all the Gold Source games was originally a boxed copy that like actually got carried over when Steam started. Oh, you like, can punch like, in the key and pu- yeah, pu- yeah, punch, punch in your CD key, and it gives you just li- all the Half Life games. So oh, like that, the that's orange what... box, wasn't it, or something? Maybe. No, 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 no. Um, the orange Ooh. box didn't give you that. Um, it just gave you a bunch of games. But like, you yeah. got, you got, you got to remember that like Counter Strike and all these games are just like mods for Half Life. So if you like bought oh, yeah, the store yeah. copy, like they, it, it was, it was a big sucker game too, because you could buy like. A box with all the CDs of um, of like uh, Counter Strike and Half Life and Opposing Force and blah 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 blah. But if you just bought like a box copy of Counter Strike, that key is good for all of those games because it's all just an expansion pack for that like base game, right? right. So yeah, there is a Valve Complete pack, I suppose. Does it come with Half Life, Alex? It does not. It's not complete. It doesn't come with a Steam controller or an index. This bundle is two thousand dollars. Whoa! What? <laughs> For like the Valve, com- like the actual Valve Complete Pack, literally everything Valve oh, has yeah, ever produced. Be thousands of dollars. Yeah. What does that yeah. come with? Just games? No, no. Yeah, well, no. The, this one comes with games. The one I'm saying like comes with an index and like. Mm. Mm. Like it's it's the Valve complete pack. It's everything that Valve makes. Um, Mir, that does not come with Team Fortress Classic. Yes, it does. Look at the top. Oh, there it is. Yeah, <laughs> along with Day of Defeat and like yeah, all all, all the Gold Source games. But yeah. like, here's here's yeah, the thing. Sure. Like Deathmatch Classic is five bucks. Day of Defeat is five bucks. Yeah, all... TFC is five bu- five bucks. Seven yeah, I'm guessing the only reason why they have that pack in general is just so people can uh, get it when they do. Because Valve sometimes does um, promotional giveouts. Yeah. Like if someone does an awesome mod or something, you just give them all a Valve game. You, you know, you know what's uh, real stupid about this bundle though? They... It comes with Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2, the game that has all the maps for Left 4 Dead, but is better because yeah. it's on a newer engine. Yeah. But if you don't want to play with Spitter, then you can play with Left 4 Dead just one. But it, the, no. You plus can play also, with the old zombies, yeah. Pl- plus, there's also no Linux version for the OG Left 4 Dead because they're like, oh really? We yeah, 
They're yeah. they're like we, we're, there's no reason to port it because <laughs> all the all the levels are in Left 4 Dead too, so you get yeah. both games. But the old game would give you the old zombies, so you wouldn't have the new zombie, which so? you might want to not have the new zombie. <laughs> Well, then you are a rare edge case, sir. <laughs> oh, definitely. Uh, thank you, man. So, I, you. so I, 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 I don't Good concern my now. time with thinking of the likes of you, Scott, with your desire to play games in their original state. Hey, that's why, uh, was it World of Warcraft Classic came out? Yeah. No, World of Warcraft Classic came out because Blizzard wasn't making money on people who were still playing WoW, but like old versions of it. Which is people who wanted to do that, right? Right. <laughs> That's exactly what I just said. Yes, but it's a different market pressure. <laughs> no, it's exactly the same market pressure. It's exactly what I said. You're a market pressure. I missed something there. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I, I wasn't really paying attention to anything I was saying. I was just riling Scott on. I end up agree with me. Okay. I honestly, I have no idea. Uh, I was just too busy trying to join the game of. Um, oh, that's right. Shell I should launch shell shock, shouldn't I? <laughs> I was having too yeah. much fun messing with Scott. There's only one spot left, yeah. <laughs> what? 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 I wasn't in there yet. Um, hold on. Come on in, Foxy. Well, I'm joining. And Jordan. Well, I guess it's I can cool. join. Uh, Jordan got I, 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 I took is. too long because I wasn't paying attention. Candy. And oh. now your candy's gone. One guy oh no, not my candy. candy. Oh, I hope no. you didn't eat all the special candy. <laughs> can I? Can I, I can did. I, They're all Bigfoot. Can I? What, I don't want to do that. No, stop it. They're all dinky deckers. Um, if we kick this Benjamin Vanniers, there's one more point spot. By the way, if I say Bigfoot candy, everyone knows what I'm talking about, right? No. No, Scott. Hell they don't no. <laughs> ah, room is full. Oh, well. I got upgrades available. We're just waiting on people to be ready now. Yeah, well, there's one guy we can kick. I'm not sure if he's one of us, but sure. <laughs> Benjamin, Benjamin Veneers. Benjamin, Benjamin, yeah. yeah. Oh, there was some... <laughs> wait. <laughs> Who's Benjamin? That's what oh. I'm yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Oh, you quit. Okay, never mind. But, yeah. Everyone get ready. Yeah. Yeah. I set up multiplayer. Okay. We create a game. Oh! Go! What a play. Oh. Yep. Oh. I'm in. Scott's in. Oh, what? It is not full. Come what? on. What? Come on. The room is full? Come on. Yeah, if I'm only letting two players in. Ah. Me versus Ben, let's go. Yeah, all right. Off he's going. <laughs> if you don't make it this time. Oh, hold on. Too bad, so sad. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Right click on then join in the Steam list. It's a uh, right in front of Pedro. I'm in. Who's, Who's Papa, Papa Pumpkin? Who's oh, no. Papa Pumpkin? <laughs> no one anymore. Okay, cool. <laughs> Jill, you need to leave. Uh, Elias Hoff. Huh? <laughs> huh? Come on, Jill, jump in. Come in. There's a new go. room. No. Donut oh. cop. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Oh, keep trying, keep trying. I guess because we had um. Go away, donut oh, cup. Go. Donut cup too. <laughs> All right. Well, we're playing with know, who we're know. playing with. Too bad. Well, I gave everybody time. You know what? Come on, I, 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 Come on. Right click on Ben and join. In the Steam overlay. It's so Hoff dramatic. Elias Hoff, welcome to the game. <sighs> oh, not, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all target the hell out of him. Yep. Oh um, shit, he's on my team too. God yeah. <laughs> Bro, I'm back there. Okay. He's on my team oh. too. Let's still target him. All right, it's Team Canada, man. All right, everyone, how everyone move away it. from the oh, Hoffman. No. Yeah, move away from Elias Hoff. <laughs> I've, there, I, I'm between a rock and a hard place, apparently. Uh. 
Ah, <laughs> too low. <laughs> Is this like everyone at once or? Oh shit! Wrong way. Uh. <laughs> everyone move back. Uta! Move back. Oh shit! There's a wall there, isn't there? Fuck! I didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit! It cleared it! It cleared it! Ha ha! Ow! Um, oh, poor Mr. Alert. I see the wall either. Whoops. Oh shit! Oh god! Yes! This time we have all the luck on our team! Like, here's all the shields! Here's none of the shields! You're welcome, Sandy, by the way. <laughs> yeah, piss on the half. Oh, shoot. Hi, Scott. Hi, Scott. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's useless. Miss. Uh. Interesting. I was actually targeting Elias Hoff. <laughs> you did, you pissed all over him. Nope. Ow. <laughs> Ow. 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 Snow and you, Mr. Alert. <laughs> Welcome back to Linux Owcast. <laughs> oh, no, it's been not useful. Oh, that would work. And scoop myself back a bit. This one be good. Who shot the pussy? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Why? Why? I'm digging deeper into that hole. Yeah. Okay. I guess I'm stuck in this hole. Because <laughs> my, <laughs> my traction level isn't enough. Let's go! Ooh, yeah. Right. I don't think this is going to be enough, but we'll see. Ah. No. Ow. No. Damn it. Over, oh, no. oh, oh. Overshot. Ow. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> wow, boy, Mr. Lurt, you barely missed that. Uh. All right, so too much power. I got to give it less. Assuming I stay in this spot. Okay. No. Oh, good, good job, Scott. You took that for me like a champ. <laughs> You're I'm welcome. My pedestal. Banana away. Yep. Yeah. Oh, come on. Banana. Yeah, banana. <laughs> Speaking of banana, can I just limp dick that and get that? Nope. Oh, oh, so close! A little so, early. Oh, I saw at least we on. got. Oh, at least we got a black hole. <laughs> Physics be damned. Ooh, snake, snake. Mm. If you hit someone, Plum. 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 <laughs> 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 just straight up sucked up the. Man. Hit the singularity right in the event horizon. <laughs> Smash that like oh, oh, if I can land it. Please let me. Alright. I think I made an awful mistake, but we'll see. We made an, we've all made terrible mistakes. Oh! Eat shit it's real hit. hit. It's us. Ow. Uh, Bonk. 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 <laughs> now. Oh, this is actually a pretty nice position to be in. I got a portal. <laughs> that's, po that's pointing shit directly away from me. This is nice. I like it when this well, happens. Well, the problem to me. is the entrance portal is right near them. If they shoot it in, they'll probably hit us. Um. Yeah, but they're not. But <laughs> that's assuming they're clever enough to do that. Oh, poor Rohit. That's what a roller uh, does, by the way. Yeah, yeah, if you run it, <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what it does. You're meant to fire it up and over. <laughs> oh, god damn it, now I'm, I'm bouncing. Bye, Mr. Alert. Wow, that snake uh, was I'm useless. 
Yep. Oops, All right. Hey, Van. How you doing? Hi, <laughs> Scott. I'm doing fine. Hey, how are you? Can I pick that up and get some more weapons? Wish. Watch Ben like one v one, one v like all us and win. I don't know. Whoa! What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you still got him. <laughs> Grab the gear, someone. There's a gear? I didn't see it. You know, it really grinds my gears. <laughs> Take Back my here. banana. Matza. Banana. Ute. Matza. Oh, Pennywise. Oh. Oh. Um. Yeah. See, I don't. I don't gotta do matzah anymore because I don't live with my parents, so I can eat what I want when I want. You don't ever Which have is mo that, that S and M moment where you just want to oh, feel God, it cutting no, your no, insides up. Ow! 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 Uh, what do I have left? I wonder what Earthquack does. Quack. It quacks. It just hurts him for 10. <laughs> That's all. Hurts everyone for 10. That's all. Uh, oh, sorry, Elias. Elias. <laughs> Friendly fire. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, you didn't taste the rainbow, Ven. <laughs> nope. Oh. Oh, cool. oh <laughs> hey, Ven. <laughs> it's your old buddy, the singularity. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You know, you can't move in. That would take all the fun out of it, Scott. <laughs> Especially for the winners. We should be getting some new weapons sign. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm behind six boxies. <laughs> you are. <laughs> You I don't know what the guppy is, but sure. Oh, wait, I may have just made an awful mistake. Yes, you have, I would say. Way ahead of so I don't know which one's which. I'm going to use the zipper, so I'm going to install some Suze packages. On... <laughs> I'm going to install some Suze packages on Ven. <laughs> no, I made a good mistake. I made a good mistake. Good mistake. going to install TikTok oh, on God. Ven's computer. <laughs> Ven is almost dead. It was a very good mistake. <laughs> You're a good mistake. That's probably 1990s uh, pop song. Or whatever you'd call, like, a, uh, you know. No, that's what your parents begrudgingly tell you. Oh, no, 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 no. That, Oh, that's, that's, that's a solid one. That's a Didn't solid shoot. I throw off my shot, but... Yeah. I'm going to attack Ven with his weakness. Chicken. Chicken wings. <laughs> I missed. Someone did. Woo! Shit. Wow. Oh, that yay. Live, that walk. <laughs> yes. Scored. Then what? Bye bye. <laughs> I helped. MVP. Yeah. <laughs> I dealt 75 damage despite dying uh, on the first round. Kick AOR and someone else going in. All right, Sandy wants in. All right. How do I, can you password it? Uh, I have so. I have no idea. I'm asking Michael. There is friends only, but I'm not sure if that actually works. Wow. Uh, I think there's that uh, wrench icon next to the game title up at the top. Maybe, maybe you can do something with that. You may just, have to boot and rename it. Oh, that's just to set the name. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can tell We're everyone out. that it's private and they'll respect it. Come, Sandy, quickly. Do it, Sandy. Come on. Someone join. Someone. Anyone. I, I've, of, I'll just I've tried. All right. You can try again, because there we go. Oh, oh you're in. Jill, oh, Jill's in. Jill. Okay. All right. Jill has a really high ELO. Uh, I'll I'll leave ne next round so that Sandy can get in. All right, readying up. I'll get ready up again. There we go. Ready, Freddy. Pablo, come on. <laughs> I <laughs> am ready. Come, come on, Perdo. Now you are. I had to, I had to unready and ready again for it to show on Ven's screen because Likely. I was ready. Likely. <laughs> Go, Van. You have to ready, ready up. <laughs> it's gonna kick the most in thirty. <laughs> what a stupid game. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
All right, where am I? Oh, I'm up okay. here. Okay. Hi, Ved. How you doing? Mmm, sub homie. Mm -hmm. So, my neighbors uh, are my enemy. Yep, pretty much. Hey, Mir, what are we gonna do? Shoot me. Die. I don't know. Hey, Mir, Maybe I heard you Mr. shot Alert. your lady down. It took you. Come on, do it. <laughs> yeah. Ow, ow, ow. ow. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice, <laughs> nice try, fucko. Nice try, Jill. Uh, yeah. Jill, you hit me. What the fuck? Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jill, yeah, Boutet. Jill's like the worst teammate to have. <laughs> um, oh shit! No, they're on my team. Fuck. Oh, yeah. I got, I, I got, I got all three ball. Did you shoot us? Uh, yeah. Yes. Thanks, Fox. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Fox. All right. <laughs> Oh, maybe I'll just judge it or go over. Ow! Oh, God! No, it, I did not misjudge it. Oh! <laughs> Ow. Ow! Ow! You know what? That I'll hit. take that. Okay. Fuck you, guys. That, <laughs> that hit me, too. That was not a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> God damn it. Hmm. Oh, I got a feeling Ben's aiming for me. Oh, fuck you, yeah, at, at least I got a clear shot at Pedro. <laughs> and this time I'm not gonna hit my own teammate. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Nailed oh, it. Uh, well, there you we hit Ven once. <laughs> Stinky balls. <laughs> Stinky balls. <laughs> All right. Stinky balls. Stinky, stinky balls. Good luck, Scott. <laughs> Are you wishing yourself good luck? Yes. <laughs> All right. It's time for all three ball Johnson. Three ball Johnson. <laughs> oh, nice. wow. yes! Woohoo! Oh, <laughs> Bonk. Bonk. Oh, poor Ben. I don't have. <laughs> what? Ah, bullshit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck <Don't> you, Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's like you're some free armor, douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> Very much appreciated. <laughs> Oh, what? <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> I know that feel, Pedro. I know that feel. <laughs> All right. That bounce was not accounted for. <laughs> Let's go. Would, 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 would you say it's unaccounted for? Okay. Yes. Yes, that is, that's exactly where it landed. <laughs> All right, Pedro. Let's see if I can. Uh, let's see if I can. Let's see if I can nail you with the cactus. Fifteen. Cactus. No. Uh, no. no <laughs> that went. Uh, oh. oh. It hit Foxy you. and me. So yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> baby steps. Baby steps. <laughs> oh God. Oh. Uh. Tanks for nothing. I haven't changed the music at all. <laughs> Tanks for the memories. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, God. Missed a lot. Wow. There we so go. So Ben's firing off in the orbit. Uh, God damn it, Jill. Oh, Jill is what very protected. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> wow. <laughs> what the absolute shit? What? She'll oh, just get the shield on her. Is oh. very protected. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, man, the game's got sympathy. <laughs> Jill, be careful. She can take no damage, but she can damage herself. Oh, shit, mom! <laughs> Thanks, Foxy. <laughs> I hate you, Foxy. <laughs> I hate I you so I much. I thought I lived it enough. God damn it. You're the worst. <laughs> shit. Wait, you're on my team. Fuck. Oh god damn it. Uh, Fuck. Ow. Alright. Ah, oh, that oh. miss. Oh. Narrow narrowly missed. Alright. <laughs> okay. We're get we're 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 getting into like the sketchy math territory that I can't do with my brain. No, mm -hmm. it's fine. It's fine. 
I just hope this uh, doesn't hit Scott. Let's Sorry, hope this Scott. actually works. Oh, yeah. fuck. Oh, please, please. No, I think I fucked up again. All right. Woo. Yep. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I missed slightly. Wow. <laughs> okay. That, that worked. That didn't. Right. Damn it. I... I, I gambled and I won. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> the grenade bounced around a little bit and missed. Crap. Man, it would be great if I got some of these yeah, beneficial spawns. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ow. Ow. I got a hit. Mm. I'll oh. take it. <laughs> All right, what, 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 what do I got? I got a bulger. Do I want Mr. a bulger? Alert, you're, you're dying. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, Maybe Galen's Sorry, relatively man. well protected. All right. Oh. oh. Uh, oh. Mm, Hi, Pedro. Oh, I got the hair up the air strike oh. right on my ass. <laughs> oh. But you're I, still alive, Pedro. <laughs> How, Technically, how, yes. <laughs> how, do you, how do you like that grave I dug for you? <laughs> <laughs> now, Mister, uh, sorry, uh, Man Red, and I need to move up. Right, right now, I have this wall protecting me, and that's about all I got. <laughs> uh, I got nothing <laughs> right now. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, you Ooh, nice. one <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh fuck. 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 Fuck you, Pedro. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I got a little bit of protection from the AI. Thank you. Well, I, <laughs> considering the angle I have to hit you at, right? Like, that's all yeah. the protection. <laughs> that's directly in my line of fire. Go, banana. <laughs> Um, what the fuck is guppies? Is that bad? The goldfish. I have fuck all uh, idea. <laughs> sure. All right. That's I guess good. I'm. I'm aiming for a Jill. <gasps> oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, I'm a fox. Uh. Actually, I hit something. No, I hit Jill. I hit Jordan. Uh, uh Pedro. One of them. I, I hit Jill, but I, I I couldn't get at Pedro. There's there's no way. I somehow did. I don't know how, but I did. Right. But, yeah, but you Something you have a better me. you have a better angle to shoot at. Oh! Oh God! Damn! Right. Get get <laughs> fucked! Get fucked! All right. Okay. Let's see. Let's, let's see if I can do this. Oh fuck, I think I screwed up. Yep. Okay. Oh, baby. Goodbye, Ben. Alright, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm actually in a better spot. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move up, Scott. I, okay, okay, so I hit Jill. I'm trying yeah, to take out Pedro, alive. though. <laughs> I, got, I got to take both of them out, so. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> just, just Up down the of hill. reach. Up the hill. You must go. So apparently, you can upgrade your tank to the point where you can do those steep climbs. Mm. But I'm not oh, at that no. level yet. No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, that one didn't go far at all. I'm sorry, Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Ute! Does anyone know what he's saying when he... He's saying yeah. booty? I don't know. Boote? Yeah, no, Ute. Ute. He's saying booty. Okay, got it. Ute. Ute. <laughs> Everyone went after me. Ow. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, Jill. That was completely blind fire. Yeah. I, I, I went after Pedro. I just oh God. put my grenade on you. I, I, I got them both, which is nice. 
Nice try, Jill. No. Right. And this is gonna I'm kill it. Blind on. What the okay. hell is the stream? Let's find out. <laughs> it's the R. Kelly one. Hmm? Oh, you didn't die from that. Nice. Hmm. Oh, hey! Free armor! <laughs> nice! Yeah. No, not armor. I'm weapons. Uh, ammo. New weapon. Oh, new ammo. Weapon. Oh, nice. Bump out! Oh, poor Jill. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my arcing! Oh, god damn it! I was all lined Oh, uh, be careful, I'm Fox Dog. I, I pressed fire before I, uh, I realized that the thing showed up. I am sorry, I'm Fox Dog. You're about to get hit, son. That's what he's yeah. saying. Well, no, I think it's actually gonna bounce off the thing. Right. Going through the You're already ball, dead. Just in case. I want to apologize because. Canadian? <laughs> no. Yeah, we know. Whoop. Oh shit. Oh, mirror. What's the Oh. oh. <laughs> Rescued from my blunder by bullshit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's the American I way. Am so protected. Whoa. Uh, bye bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> children. Don't need me. <laughs> I got super feet. Damn it. You needed hey, baby wait, hands. But whatever. <laughs> oh no no god Yep yeah. Yeah. Kill, bro. Cool. <laughs> Well you shot me Does that make you feel good? <laughs> oh. Oh. I don't Darn know it. damage, Se yeah. Se yeah. Se damage but Second, but second wow, place Alright I leveled up. Two less damage yeah. than Scott. <laughs> I got, I got, I got bounce explode. I got. Same here. That one's a fun one. That's a fun okay, one. Okay, we'll do one more. Then we'll do a free for all. Then we get out of here. I got. Okay. Okay. All right. And and I'll leave what? so that Sandy can get in. All right, Sandy. Come oh, on. yes, okay. Sandman. Give oh, me a that was nice. Mirror. Let me get out so that I can get out. Get out! Okay, I'm out. <laughs> come on, Sandy. Sandy, you can Do join. Sandrew Martin, come in. There he there is. There he is. Yeah. Yay! Get a, uh, Ultimore. Good old Frank Langella Skeletor. <laughs> Frank Langellator. <laughs> Sabotage. <laughs> Sabotage. Obelisks looks pretty good. Where? Oh, bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, way right. right down the bottom, that one. Yeah. Boop. Oh, ready. Oh, ready up. Yep. Every time he makes a change, you gotta re ready. Yep. Scott, we have to <laughs> yeah. get bananas. <laughs> Scott, good. Come, come, come back and eat them with unblinking eye contact. I wonder if all the Canadians are going to end up on one team. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's no teams. This is straight free for all. Oh shit! <laughs> we kill all right, each team. Other. Ca all right, Canadian Civil War. Scott. <laughs> Scott. Scott. Oh, sorry. Scott. I went. And this is going to be like I don't know. I don't know where he went. Gonna be kicked in a second. Scott. <laughs> Click ready, man. I upgraded my tank's steering so I can climb steep hills now. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully I'll be less boxed in. There I don't know. Is. There it is. Oh shit! All oh. right. All right. Who have I got? Hmm. Oh. Sorry, I wasn't Hi. Right. Hi, Foxy. Oh, shoot uh, only. Shoot only, eh? Interesting. Uh, oh, oh shit! I, I took too long. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Mm. Oh. Uh. Boink! Uh. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. <laughs> oh, actually, oh. you know who I don't trust? Me. Pennywise. Shifty Canadians. 
I think I overshot that. I, d I definitely overshot that. Pennywise, I implicitly trust you. You are harmless. Yay. Oh. Boop. Oh, man. Okay, oh, that was Mr. Alert to... taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Alert, we need to practice. You, me, and Foxy. <laughs> I don't need to practice. I'm fine. Yeah, oh, but you me. need to teach us, senpai. <laughs> You think he wants you to be his kohai, you weeb ass? Ugh. Damn it. I was doing, I was record, doing much. The... That, Ooh, that, I, just got I took a lot of damage there. <laughs> a little bit. What time? For the record, what I was saying is ute, which means fire cannon in Japanese. Booty, get it. Right, fair enough. Booty. <laughs> Uh, Sandy just well, killed himself. I I dead. I'm dead. I took Pedro out in three. I took down Mr. Alert and I think Jordan. <laughs> yeah. Okay, play play it with a tight time is a little more entertaining for me. <laughs> oh man, no no rainbow for you. You don't get I'm sorry, Sandman! <laughs> you don't get to be <laughs> fabulous. No, you're not. You're you don't not. have to apologize now, Jill. It's <laughs> free for all. <laughs> yeah, it's PvP. Yeah, there's no teams. Jordan's already dead, Jill. Stop, stop, oh. I'm already dead. <laughs> oh, who, oh, Scott, that's cheap. That was cheap. He's in the earthquake. Oh, very close on the sniper. <laughs> God damn it. The guppies are really gumming out in this, <laughs> these matches. Well, they give us a lot, and they give us like four of them. Yeah. There we go, there. All right, uh, now it's Ben it versus Scott. <laughs> are you going to try and use the portal to your advantage? Or are you going to try and weave it? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Apparently, that's what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Free health? All right, fine. New weapons. Not all. See if you can handle the whatever I just clicked. Yeah, Sink take that. Balls. Take that, oh. Foxy. Oh. Oh. oh, bye then. Scott wins. No. I am crushed. Oh, <laughs> the defeat. I did better than Sandy, and that's the important <laughs> thing. Scott is MVP. I earned a token. And I nice. unlocked a bound explode. <laughs> yes, finally. Yeah. My dreams of bound MP3, three, three rounds in a row. <laughs> you better not get a tombstone, no, Scott, because I'm going to outlive you, and I'm going to carve that on there. You can hit that way. That's over. <laughs> over. Uh, I love this game now that it works. That's a, that's a broad interpretation. Um... <laughs> Uh, it, I, I've got when a did video it not it work? early on and well, not, listen, it's 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 mirror we're talking about. Yeah. There's there's te yeah. technical problems abound, and there's no mysterious explanation, and then all of a sudden it works. Yep, dude, we gotta get out of here. It is already past midnight. Damn. Yes. Ah. Uh, so. bedtime. <laughs> I get, I get really cranky if I don't get a nappy. <laughs> I, I look forward to, let's see. Uh, what is it, Jill? Eight o'clock there? <laughs> Do you think you'll be able to crawl out of bed before noon? <laughs> I won't. I mean, that's usually the time I wake up on Sundays. <laughs> after sleeping for like five hours. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Hey, hopefully you'll get more than five hours of sleep. Thank you, each and every one of you, for watching this. And uh, come back next week where the party continues. Um, firing away, shooting away, exploding all over you. 
exploding all over your back. Bounce exploding because it bounces. 